Chapter 681, Step 1, Killing Intent You guessed right. Ji and Yi's voice sounded out, the Lingzhao ancient road test, to others, is extremely difficult. But your test is at least ten times more difficult than the others. In this Lingzhao ancient road apostrophe, each step you take is one illusion, and each step you take is one filled with killing intent. One step, one illusion, one step. One killing intent. Hearing these ten runes, Tang Huan's heart also tightened slightly. He could not help but ask, Senior Jian Yi, how many steps does this Lingzhao ancient road need to complete? That depends on you. Jian Yi said slowly, Look at me. Tang Huan was startled. That's right. The sword laughed, then said, Tang Huan, after you become a martial warriors, every battle will appear in the illusions here. The number of battles will be the number of illusions. If you can successfully pass through all of the illusions, this Lingzhao ancient road will be finished. And every time you can pass through the illusions, your strength will increase. However, as long as you are killed in one of these illusions, you will also die, and your soul will be completely devoured by this Lingzhao ancient road. In addition, if you were injured in the illusion world, your body would also be injured. If your injuries are so severe that they are difficult to heal, even if you successfully pass through that illusion world, you will still die here in the end. Oh, hearing this, Tang Huan subconsciously looked down. Only then did he realize that the clothes on his abdomen area had already been torn apart, and a small area had even been dyed gold with blood. However, the place where the dagger had pierced him had already healed. After that, Tang Huan looked at the hand he used to grab the dagger again. I see. Tang Huan nodded and sighed. Yeah. Zhao Budian cried out crisply, his gaze swiveling back and forth between Tang Huan's palms and abdomen. His pair of deep blue eyes were filled with worry. Don't be afraid. Tang Huan caressed Zhao Budian's head while laughing, but there was a trace of heaviness in his eyes. Within that illusion, Tang Huan didn't have the memories he had now. But his opponent seemed to know how he would act. To him, this was indeed extremely dangerous. The stronger the opponent, the greater the danger. Furthermore, according to what Jian Yi said just now, when Tang Hua took his last step, the opponent he would meet would definitely be the secluded Night Dark King. When they were in Foggy Sea Island, Tang Huan and Zhai teamed up and wasted a great amount of energy to deal with it. His own soul was also heavily injured and it took a long time for him to recover. In this illusory realm, the secluded Night Dark King would definitely be even more difficult to deal with. However, since he had already entered the Lingzhao Ancient Road, Tang Huan would not be so timid. While thinking, Tang Huan once again stepped forward, and the scene in front of him changed. It was still that blacksmith shop. Other than Tang Hong, Tang Zhang and Tang Junji, there was also a 17 to 18 year old black clothed youth. It was Tang Zhao. Dot, dot. Inside the foggy sea island, many figures were gathered in front of the Ling Zhao arch. Everyone was either sitting cross legged on the ground, eyes closed, or pacing up and down with light footsteps. From time to time, they would raise their heads to look at the abnormally vast void within the arch. It's been almost a month, right? Suddenly, a melodious voice broke the silence of this space. The one who spoke was Shen Shan, and the two gazes that looked at Ling Zhao Arch were filled with worry. Little Shen Shan, don't worry. With Tang Huan's current strength, he can be called the strongest person in the history of our little world. If he is unable to pass the so-called test, no one in this world will be able to pass it in the future. That's right. Yu Fian cast a sidelong glance at Shen Shan and laughed heartily. The reason why that senior Yun Zan, who is a Ling Zhao sword sect, left behind this trial, is because he wants to link this Ling Zhao ancient road with his own little world. If even Tang Huan failed, the Ling Zhao ancient road would probably never have any hope of connecting the dots. This was definitely not what senior Yun Zan intended to do, so let's just calmly wait. Upon hearing her words, Many of the surrounding people nodded their heads in agreement. Shan Shan wrinkled her nose and snorted softly. She naturally understood this logic. However, understanding was one thing, and worrying was another. Only one month has passed, there are still two more months. If the Ling Zhao Arch still hasn't closed by then, 
It means that Tang Huan has already succeeded, Uzi said while beaming. Perhaps there's no need to wait for two more months, the Lingzhao arch will make its move. Xing Meng also smiled slightly. He was extremely confident in Tang Huan. Gu Gu, Zhao Ai groaned as he nodded his head repeatedly. Seeing that, Feng Ming unknowingly smiled, but after a while, the smile on her face disappeared, and she secretly sighed. After Tang Huan had entered the Ling Zhao arch, she could no longer sense his position, but the link between their souls still existed. Through this connection, she could still faintly sense some of Tang Huan's situation. Almost every once in a while, the connection would become extremely weak. At first, she didn't quite understand what it meant. But with the increase in their numbers, she slowly woke up to reality. Every time the connection between their souls became weaker, it probably meant that Tang Huan was already in great danger. However, she did not reveal her discovery to prevent others from thinking too much. Fortunately, Although the connection became weaker time and time again, it did not completely break. Instead, it quickly strengthened to its original state. It could be seen that Tang Huan was constantly passing through various dangerous situations. Dot, dot. Ling Zhao Ancient Road Huff, huff, puff. Tang Huan suddenly woke up, but he was unable to hold on. Putong he kneeled on the ground, panting like an ox his brows filled with an unconcealable exhaustion. At that instant, the black-colored robe on his body was filled with all sorts of big and small cracks. Every part of the robe had a golden mark on it, which was very eye-catching. This was the result of the blood that was left on the wound. There were six long wounds that had just formed, and the golden blood that flowed out had almost completely soaked the robe. The illusion just now had occurred in the Dragon Spring town and Tang Huan's opponent was Sha Long Empire's Thousand Generals, Chu Feng. In the real world, Tang Huan had escaped from Chu Feng's giant sword. But in the illusion, Tang Huan could not escape, and in the end, even risked his life to kill that stage 7 martial master. However, the final result was that there were six additional wounds on Tang Huan's body, each of them rolling up until his bones were visible. Even if Tang Huan obtained the sun spirit body after escaping the illusion, the recovery rate of his flesh body was ridiculously strong, and such an injury still could not be completely healed right away. Chapter 682 Tang Huan is still alive. Yeah, Zhao Budian flapped four pairs of small wings and floated in front of Tang Huan. A walnut-sized golden liquid immediately condensed and formed at the tip of the golden horn. Then, Zhao Budian shook his head, indicating for Tang Huan to eat the lump of spirit dragon sacred marrow. Kid, you're not at such a level yet. Tang Huan's breathing calmed down a little, and upon seeing that, he rubbed Zhao Budian's head, and laughed. I can still hold on, when I can finally take it, it won't be too late for you to give me the spirit dragon sacred marrow. With that, Tang Huan slowly stood up. Yeah, Zhao Budian sized Tang Huan up, still feeling a bit worried. Tang Huan closed his eyes and within the mind instructs, in a second, the Great Harmony Heavenly Classics began to circulate. Inside the Danshan, the Nine Yang Divine Furnace and the Five Colors Spiritual Pills began to circulate at a fast speed. The boundless genuine chi was like a torrent as it moved about the spiritual meridian. At practically the same time, Tang Huan's body also revealed a faint golden luster. Time flew, and Tang Huan's face was brimming with energy and vitality, and his wounds were healing slowly. Seeing that Tang Huan's condition was improving, Zhao Budian finally calmed down. She flapped her little wings, and once again, floated onto Tang Huan's shoulder. That ball of golden liquid quickly entered the sharp horn. After a long while, Tang Huan finally completely recovered, and looked at the road in front of him that he could not see the end of, the look in his eyes becoming more determined. Step by step, illusions, killing intent. Ji and Yi's words were indeed not the slightest bit wrong. From the first match with Tang Hong, to the battle with Chu Feng earlier, every single illusion was dangerous for Tang Huan, and every single battle was filled with danger. He was injured, and it seemed like a common occurrence. Especially the battle with Chu Feng, Tang Huan had more or less fallen into a desperate situation. After all, at that time, the difference in strength between the two sides was simply too great. However, 
Tang Huan still won. If he could defeat an opponent he had never defeated in his real experiences, then what was there to be afraid of in the trials that followed? In Tang Huan's heart, he had never felt so confident before. Even if he were to face opponents like the demon lord Fen Tian and the secluded knight Dark King soon, Tang Huan would be fearless. The next opponent should be the vengeful spirit from Longquan. With a thought, Tang Huan took a step forward. In a trance, Tang Huan was already inside the ancient town of Dragon Spring that was filled with shadows. On the ancient path, Tang Huan advanced step by step. Deep inside Sword Crafting Valley, Battle Sword Soul King, Victory. Furious Waves City, Battle Elder of Tang Family, Victory. Sky Spirit Realm, Battle Yan Zhang Kong, Victory. Wofu World against Fen Lei, Victory. Dot, dot. Forgotten City, Victory. Furious Billows Castle, Victory. Dot, dot. Ho. After a long period of time, under the activation of the Magic Array, another small boat finally broke through the ocean and docked at the northern shore of the foggy sea island. With a flash of red, a young woman landed on the shore. This woman was wearing a red dress and had a curvy figure. She had a charming and pretty face and a fluffy little head was exposed on the front of her dress. Her mouth was actually slender and long, and her fur had seven colors. She was Mu Yan. Back then, before Tang Huan left the Furious Waves city, she had already headed towards the Heavenly Forging City and entered the Sky Spirit Realm to cultivate, and in the end, stepped into the Stage 9 Realm in the Luofu world. After leaving the Secret Realm, she found out about the appearance of the Ling Zhao Arch and rushed over without stopping. I've finally reached the Foggy Sea Island. Looking at the white skeletons all around him, Mu Yan could not help but heave a sigh of relief. But in an instant, his gaze looked deep into the foggy sea island as he muttered to himself, Tang Huan has definitely entered the Ling Zhao Arch, I wonder if he has passed the Ling Zhao Ancient Road yet? His voice paused slightly, and an enchanting smile appeared on Mu Yan's charming face, it doesn't matter if I have already passed, I will definitely be able to find you in the Forging God Great World in the future. Whoosh! In the next moment. Mu Yan had already dashed forward. Dot, dot. Ling Zhao Ancient Road I never thought that Gui Jia would actually be so powerful in the illusion world. Tang Huan heaved a sigh of relief as he sat down in exhaustion. In the battle with Gui Jia, although Tang Huan was a laughing his last, he was still exhausted. Previously, when he was fighting with Gui Jia, the Four Spirit of Divine Weapon S, Conqueror Spear, Dragon Slaughtering Saber, Xoani Uan's sword and exquisite carving bow respectively blocked one of Gui Jia's embodiment while Tang Huan attacked Gui Jia himself. In the end, he won easily but the situation in the illusion world was completely different. Within the illusion, the hall master of the secluded night divine palace actually had as many as seven embodiment, and he even added in the one who died in the sword crafting valley back then. The fusion of his main body and seven great embodiment gave Gui Jia the strength that wasn't inferior to Tang Huan, and the difference between his embodiment and main body was unpredictable and unpredictable. There were several times where Tang Huan had almost been severely injured by him. Fortunately, it was Tang Huan who killed it in the end, destroying the illusion. Next, should be the secluded Night Dark King. Tang Huan's quinted. That secluded night Dark King was definitely a ranker at the same level as the sword. In the illusion, Tang Huan had killed Chu Feng, but he was not very confident about the secluded night Dark King in the illusion. After all, the strength of the secluded night Dark King was far stronger than his. In the foggy sea island, if Tang Huan really reached a dead end, he could still use a aircraft to escape, but in the illusory realm, he had nowhere to run. However, Although the situation was grim, Tang Huan did not panic. After a moment, he closed his eyes and began to circulate his cultivation technique. A smile appeared on his face and it seemed to have some meaning. Dot, dot. In a few more days, it will be three months. Outside Ling Zhao Arch, in the center area of Foggy Sea Island, a faint sigh sounded. Everyone had a complicated expression on their faces. In the past three months, the Ling Zhao Arch had not made any movements, so Tang Huan's situation was probably not too optimistic. With such a powerful strength, 
he was still unable to pass the test. Didn't this mean that Lingzhao Ancient Road would never be able to link up with the people from the small world? If the Stage 9 experts from the small world wanted to head to Forging God Great World, it would be as difficult as ascending to the heavens. You guys, could it be that little brother Tang Huan is actually? Another voice sounded, the one who spoke was Great Tang Empire's founder, Tang Moyang. Although he did not say anything else, everyone could hear the meaning behind his words. Hearing this, Shen Shen's heart trembled, his fists uncontrollably clenched tightly, his knuckles turning white. Originally, she was full of confidence in Tang Huan. But as the day of the Lingzhao Arch's closure got closer and closer, she also began to worry. Impossible. Mu Yan bit her red lips and said fiercely, Everyone, don't worry. Tang Huan is still alive. Just then, Feng Ming suddenly smiled. Dot. Chapter 683, Fury. In Lingzhao Ancient Road, Tang Huan sat cross-legged on the stone, like a statue, unmoving. On Tang Huan's leg. Zhao Budian curled up into a ball and fell into a deep sleep. Tang Huan had long since recovered his strength, and reached his peak condition. However, Tang Huan did not immediately take action. Instead, he just sat quietly in his original position and continuously operated the Great Harmony Heavenly Classics, which contained pure energy everywhere inside the Lingzhao Ancient Road. The effect of cultivating in this place was not any less than that of cultivating in the center of Foggy Sea Island. Of course, cultivation was just in passing. Tang Huan was waiting. Tang Huan, you have already recovered your strength, why aren't you continuing forward? Suddenly, the voice of Jian Yi sounded once again, if my guess is not wrong. You just need to take one more step and you will be able to pass the test and leave this Lingzhao ancient road apostrophe. Senior is right, we are indeed only a step away. Tang Huan sighed lightly, however, I have no confidence at all in this final step. Even if we manage to pass it, we will only be left with half our lives. What's wrong with that? As long as you can successfully pass through the last illusion, let alone dying from it. Even if you only have one last breath of life left in you and a strand of your residual soul, this Lingzhao ancient road will still be able to help you recover and even make your strength stronger than before. By the time, I might not be who I am now. The corner of Tang Huan's mouth slightly rose as he also smiled. Ji and Yi laughed out loud, the you at that time was obviously not the current you, but an even stronger you. Tang Huan. Do not delay any longer. Ling Zhao Arch is closing. If you cannot pass the test before closing, many people outside will probably be unable to resist and come in. With their strength, very few of them would be able to pass Ling Zhao Ancient Road, and most of them would end up dying here. Seems like I can no longer hesitate, even if it's for Shan Shan and Master, I have to risk my life. Tang Huan nodded. Don't worry. You will definitely succeed. The sword laughed. Senior, you seem to be more confident than even I am. Tang Huan suddenly asked. Of course. Ji and Yi's voice was filled with praise. This old man has stayed in this little world for countless years, and has seen countless geniuses, but they are definitely number one. After I enter the Forging God Great World and join the Ling Zhao Sword Sect. I believe that you will be even more outstanding. Tang Huan suddenly laughed merrily, Thank you Senior for your praise, but since Senior thinks so highly of me, why don't you go easy on me, and reduce the difficulty of the last illusion? <laughs> Ji and Yi seemed to be stunned. Tang Huan laughed, Since entering this Lingzhao ancient road apostrophe, Senior has created so many illusions for me. It's truly hard on you. Tang Huan. You think too highly of this old man. In an instant, Ji and Yi couldn't help but laugh. This old man doesn't have that much ability. The illusions that you've experienced were all created by the artifact spirit of Ling Zhao Arch. Tang Huan smiled slightly. This Ling Zhao Arch did indeed possess an artifact spirit after absorbing all the spirits of the skeletons, but no matter how strong that artifact spirit is, it's impossible for me to hide my original memories. But Senior is different. My soul contains Senior's mind stigma, so Senior definitely has a chance to obtain my memories. Of course, with Senior's strength alone, 
it is impossible for you to create so many illusions that look close to reality. However, if you have the help of this Ling Zhao ancient road apostrophe, the situation would be completely different. After saying that, Tang Huan's smile faded, and he sighed. Senior is the person who created the sword seal that Senior Yan Zan left behind, and the Ling Zhao Ancient Road is also a person who was created by Senior Yan Zan. Senior and Ling Zhao Ancient Road can be said to be of the same origin. It would not be difficult to draw upon the power of the ancient way. I didn't expect you to see through it. Ji and Yi sighed, then laughed. Tang Huan, you are right. After entering the Ling Zhao Ancient Road, this old man had become a part of this ancient path. All of the illusions that you have experienced were indeed created by this old man and this Ling Zhao ancient road together. However, this old man has only served as a guide, and the real deciding factor for those illusions is still this ancient path. It seems like Senior cannot go easy on me. Tang Huan was gloomy. This old man also hopes that you can easily pass through this last illusion. If you succeed, this old man can return with you to the forging god great world. If you fail, not only will you die here, this old man will also completely merge with the Ling Zhao ancient road and become a part of the artifact spirit. But unfortunately, this old man is unable to affect the strength of the illusions, and is truly unable to help you. Ji and Yi's voice was filled with helplessness. No. Senior can still help me a lot. Tang Huan rolled his eyes. How? Ji and Yi said in surprise. Very simple. Senior only needs to provide me with a little bit of strength. Tang Huan said with a smile. After absorbing Senior's power, my soul will become even stronger. In this illusion, even though I won't have the memories I have now and the genuine Qi won't be as powerful as it is now, my soul energy won't be suppressed. In this way, my chances of winning will greatly increase. This was the experience that Tang Huan gained during this period of time. In the illusion world, Tang Huan did not realize that his soul was far stronger than he had imagined. If he did not use any soul attack methods, Tang Huan would not have much of an impact, but against the secluded Night Dark King, Tang Huan mainly relied on soul attacks, and the stronger the soul, the better. What? Ji and Yi's voice became gloomy. Tang Huan, your request is a bit too much, you have yet to pass the test, so you can't be considered this old man's real master. This old man's power naturally can't be absorbed and refined. If you really want my strength, then hurry up and pass the last illusion trial. At that time, you and this old man's master and servant status is certain, so all of this old man's power will be yours. Oh, if that's the case. I think it's better if I cultivate for a while longer. After all, even if the Ling Zhao Arch is closed, the Ling Zhao Ancient Road will still be here, just that no one from outside can come in. As long as I don't starve to death, I will be fine even if I have to train here for a few more years. Tang Huan frowned, he had actually changed his mind. Tang Huan, you better not let your emotions run wild. Upon hearing that, the sword immediately said in a deep voice, the longer you stay here, the more worried your friends outside will be for your safety. It's very likely that they will rush in before the Ling Zhao Arch closes, and lose their lives in the end. I forgot one thing just now. Senior should know that Feng Ming's soul contains my mind stigma. As long as that mind stigma does not disappear, she will know that I am still alive. If I don't die, Shen Shan and Master won't come in. So... There's nothing to worry about. Tang Huan chuckled. You. Ji and Yi's voice was filled with anger. He shouted, Tang Huan, you are truly stubborn. Do you want to pass through this Ling Zhao ancient road alive or not? Hearing that, a tinge of ridicule flashed past Tang Huan's eyes. Senior Ji and Yi, are you flustered and exasperated? Chapter 684 This old man nearly believed it. It was as if he did not expect Tang Hua to suddenly say such words. The sword itself seemed to be in a daze for a moment, but immediately became enraged. Tang Huan, do you know who you are talking to? Isn't Senior Jian Yi asking the obvious? Tang Huan smiled slowly and said, If I remember correctly. Senior Jian Yi should be my servant very soon. How dare you? Jian Yi stone became extremely cold, and killing intent faintly revealed itself. Tang Huan, 
This old man thinks that you have gotten tired of living. In the end, can't hold it in anymore? Tang Huan raised his eyebrows, his eyes revealing a look of ridicule, and he was too lazy to beat around the bush. Sword One, if you want to replace my soul, and become the master of my body, then come over here. What nonsense! Ji and Yi was furious, Tang Huan, this old man has good intentions and wants to link this small world with the Forging God Great World, and give you a huge opportunity. Once you enter the Forging God Great World, you can join them, but who would have thought that this old man made a mistake, and you actually do not know what's good for you? That sounds impressive. Tang Huan scoffed, Ji and Yi, you don't even believe your own words. The reason Senior Yun Zan left these three pieces of sword seal is indeed to compensate this small world. The purpose of these three sword seal is indeed to guide those who have passed the examination to the Ling Zhao sword sect, but this is only one of them. The most important thing is to link up with this Ling Zhao ancient road apostrophe. When the three sword seal have completely fused with the ancient way, it will also be the day that the ancient way will open. Merging into the ancient way is the true fate of three sword seal. You, you. The sword was shocked. Tang Huan squinted his eyes and sneered. Before me, the two seniors who passed the test, successfully passed the Ling Zhao ancient road. They are loyal to their mission, and have joined the ancient Tao. Whether it is your spiritual nature or strength. You far surpass Jian San and Jian Er. This also makes you unwilling to accept such a fate, which is why you wanted to replace my soul, occupy my body, and enter the Forging God Great World as I am now in the ancient path. You, how do you know all this? Sword One was stunned. Jian Yi, do you really think that only one person knows about Senior Yun Zan? Tang Huan laughed and the letter that Mountain River had left behind surfaced in his mind. The content of the letter was very simple. It was to remind his descendants that they should not rashly enter the Mazi Sword Valley within the Sword Crafting Valley. Even if they could not endure it, they should not obtain 81 Sword Seal S or more, even if they had that kind of strength. After reading the letter, Tang Huan found out that Shan had only obtained 72 Sword Seal from entering the Mazi Sword Valley back then and that was on purpose. With his strength, it was impossible for him to obtain 108 sword seal from Tang Huan, but obtaining another 9 would not be a problem. The reason why Shan had done this was because he had long since known of Ji and Yi's existence. The reason for this was because of the space aircraft in the Infernal Domains Desert. The aircraft appeared much earlier than the people had expected. In fact, Mountain River had obtained the Divine Weapon Catalog earlier than expected. Furthermore, the Divine Weapon Catalog was not something Mountain River himself had obtained from the aircraft, but rather something that he had obtained from a heavily injured expert. That ranker was the owner of the aircraft. Of course, this was only one of the experts. He also had another identity, and that was that he was the martial warriors of this small world. More than a thousand years ago, he had passed Sword 2's test and entered the Forging God Great World from the Ling Zhao Ancient Road. In the end, he was chased after stealing the Divine Weapon Catalog, passed through the Turbid Sea area, and escaped back to the small world. But unfortunately, although he escaped back alive, he was seriously injured and was unable to recover. Before he died, he encountered the mountains and rivers that he had experienced in the desert. From his hands, Mountain River obtained the Divine Weapon Catalog, and from his mouth, he found out many secrets, including information regarding Ling Zhao Ancient Road and Number One Sword. As for the source of his information, it was none other than Sword Two. The Jade Mountain in Glory Sacred Temple was able to isolate ores from outside and had the same effect as the space aircraft. Reading the contents of the letter from there, he did not need to worry about the sword checking on the mind stigma that had left it in Tang Huan's soul. Back then in the tranquil continent, Tang Huan only had a bit of suspicion towards the sword, but after looking at the letter Mountain River had left behind, Tang Huan was sure that the sword did not have any good intentions towards him. After that, in order to avoid being detected by the sword, Tang Huan did not ponder over the letter again. Tang Huan, even if you know about it, what can you do? A fiendish grin suddenly sounded, 
and Jian Yi seemed to have recovered from his shock. Now you can only move forward, and not retreat. Even if you had cultivated here for a few years, and increased your cultivation greatly, it would still be useless to take that step forward. As long as this old man is here, you must have successfully passed through the last illusion while your soul was heavily injured. Tang Huan, this flesh body of yours that has the sun spirit body, this old man has it. Sword One finally stopped denying it and spoke with an incomparably fiendish tone. Ji and Yi, you overestimate yourself. Tang Huan laughed, if I didn't know anything, I might have let you succeed. But now that I know your scheme, do you think you have a chance of success? It is unfortunate, however, that in the end, you are only a sword seal, and a sword seal that was formed by Senior Yun Zan. Therefore, any actions you take in this Lingzhao ancient road cannot go against the will of Senior Yun Zan back then. After you followed me to this Lingzhao ancient road apostrophe, your fate had already been decided. How ridiculous. Sword One laughed coldly. Is that so? Tang Huan said with a smile, in the end. Senior Yun Zan's three sword seal must be assimilated into the Lingzhao ancient road, especially yours, sword one. The test that Senior Yun Zan left behind, can only be activated after you and the Lingzhao ancient road have worked together, so after entering the ancient path, regardless of whether you are willing or not, you must fuse with the ancient Tao. And the longer the fusion, the harder it is for you to separate from the ancient Tao. Because of this, you kept urging me to take that final step and undergo the final illusion test. Because the longer you drag it out, the worse it will be for you. If I were to stay here for a year or two before entering the final illusion, even if my soul were to be heavily injured after passing, it would be impossible for you to possess me again. At that time, your soul would have probably already completely merged with this Lingzhao ancient road apostrophe. Ha ha, Tang Huan. Your imagination is really good. I almost believed it. Amidst the loud laughter, a figure appeared in front of Tang Huan. It was Jian Yi, and even though he was smiling, his face did not have the slightest hint of a smile, and his eyes were filled with dense killing intent. Chapter 685, A Competition in Souls Yi yeah. Zhao Budian suddenly woke up from his stupor, her curled up body spreading out as she flapped her four pairs of wings staring fiercely at Jian Yi. Jian Yi, you forced yourself and this Lingzhao ancient road to separate, is it because you want to find me? Looking at the white-robed old man opposite him, Tang Huan smiled indifferently, and then leaped up, his expression as calm as ever, as if he had nothing to fear, and was not even the least bit worried. If it was outside, even if Tang Huan and her joined forces, she still might not be able to contend against the sword. Even if she won in the end, it would still be a miserable victory, just like joining hands against a secluded night dark king. But in this ancient path, even if Tang Huan were to face sword one alone, he would still be fearless. Fighting means feeling guilty. Immediately, the smile on Tang Huan's face became weird. Looks like what I said was right. The longer I stay in Lingzhao ancient road, the worse your situation will be. Ji and Yi, do you know what this is? With that, a white ball appeared in Tang Huan's palm. Without waiting for the sword to reply, Tang Huan smiled and said, It's called the Spirit Hidden Pearl, and it hides the soul within it. It can cut off all contact with the outside world, and can be said to be a supreme treasure. If you had spoken to me properly and didn't scheme against me, I could have completely hidden a part of your soul inside it and brought it to forging God Great World. Afterwards, I would have found a very good body and possessed it for rebirth. Unfortunately, you don't have such a chance anymore. Saying that, with a thought, Tang Huan recalled the spirit concealment bead back the Sumeru magical ring. Tang Huan, do you think I would believe you? But after a moment, he sneered and said in a deep voice, how can a part of a soul compare to a complete soul? Not to mention, no matter how good the other bodies are, how can they compare to your body that has the sun spirit body? Truly, one must not live to see the end of it. Tang Huan shook his head lightly. Tang Huan, cut the crap. Who knows who will survive to the end? Ji and Yi shouted out, in the next moment, 
a majestic sword aura surged out from his body. It was like a hurricane and it wanted to sweep Tang Huan away like crazy, as though it wanted to cut him into pieces. Yeah, Zhao Budian jumped down onto Tang Huan's shoulder in shock. Tang Huan's face was calm, and his body remained unmoving. At this time, he could not retreat because there was no other path. Every step he took forward, the clouds and mist behind him would catch up to him. The stone tablets he crossed over were completely covered by the clouds and mist. He also could not move forward. As long as he took one step forward, he would immediately enter the illusionary world and strike the sword with his hand. Stood in place without moving, as if the sword intent that was condensed into reality did not exist. Yeah, yeah, Zhao Budian cried out anxiously, but after a moment, it suddenly stopped, the moment the sword intent touched Tang Huan's body, it disappeared without a trace, as though it never existed. This strange situation caused Zhao Budian to be extremely surprised. On the other side, Ji and Yi was also startled. Don't waste your time. In this Ling Zhao ancient road apostrophe, if I do not pass Senior Yun Zan's test, you will not be able to kill me in one day. Tang Huan glanced at Sword Soul. A smile plastered on his face. If I were you, I would just obediently merge with this Ling Zhao ancient road apostrophe. Tang Huan, don't be complacent. As soon as the sword returned to its senses, a fierce look appeared on its face. Do you really think this old man can do nothing to you? Don't forget, your soul does have this old man's mind stigma. With but a thought from this old man, I can heavily injure your soul. Since you're so confident. Why don't you give it a try? Tang Huan laughed, and in a blink of an eye, he discovered that an extremely terrifying sword intent surged out from the depths of his soul like a volcanic eruption. Obviously, Sword Chi had already begun to act. Tang Huan did not hesitate at all. In between the mind instructs, in a second, he had already unleashed the divine sense and soul consolidation method, and when that vast and powerful sword intent spread out, Tang Huan's soul had already become as stable as a mountain. Bang, bang. In a split second, a series of loud sounds erupted from within Tang Huan's soul. That enormous sword intent seemed to have turned into many sharp swords, constantly slashing at Tang Huan's soul. But Tang Huan's soul was extremely stable, and actually managed to endure it. However, even though his soul was temporarily unharmed, Tang Huan still felt a chill in his heart. The sword intent was truly terrifying. Luckily it was inside the Ling Zhao ancient road. If it was outside, when the sword was attacking at the same time, provoking the sword intent in the soul, Tang Huan would probably choose to escape. But if he stayed and fought, Tang Huan's death was the only way out. Because in this situation, Tang Huan was simply incapable of using a soul attack. If he could not use this tactic, Tang Huan would be missing a trump card that could establish his victory in the nick of time, and relying on genuine qi and mind power, he would not be able to do anything to Ji and Yi. Fortunately, this was the Ling Zhao ancient road, so normal attacks were completely ineffective on Tang Huan. If the sword wanted to deal with Tang Huan, it could only do so through the mind stigma. Its goal was obvious. The mind stigma would activate its sword intent and gravely injure Tang Huan's soul. This attack came from inside Tang Huan's soul. It was not like the sword intent that was directly activated by Ling Zhao Ancient Road. It was completely eliminated. If it succeeded, Tang Huan's soul would be severely injured, and he might even faint it. Tang Huan, stop holding on. You can't hold on. Sword One laughed out loud. Then let's see who can last until the end. Tang Huan sneered. After that he calmed his heart and concentrated, and activated Nine Yang Divine Furnace to its limits. After his battle with the secluded Night Dark King, Tang Huan had consecutively used Soul Killing Storm multiple times, causing extremely serious damage to his soul. But after recovering, Tang Huan's soul had become even stronger. Now that he had unleashed this divine sense and soul consolidation method, his soul could be said to be unshakable. However, the sword intent activated by the mind stigma was also incomparably sharp, almost invincible. Tang Huan's soul was like a thick shield, but sword soul's sword intent was like a sharp spear, and right now, one could see whether the shield could block the spear. 
or the spear could pierce through it. This contest of skills took place within Tang Huan's soul. If there were only divine sense and soul consolidation method, the difference between Tang Huan and number one sword could be estimated to be only 50. But Tang Huan not only had the technique to stabilize his soul, he also had the Nine Yang Divine Furness. Following the rapid operation of the cauldron, the powerful energy of the sucking spread throughout Tang Huan's body in an instant. A small part of the sword intent that was frantically attacking Tang Huan's soul immediately separated itself, with strands of the sword energy flowing along the energy. It was eventually absorbed into the cauldron. Chapter 686 Ancient Passage My sword intent was drained. The sword master finally noticed the change in Tang Huan's soul and exclaimed out loud in disbelief. Due to the mind stigma, he was indeed able to capture some of Tang Huan's memories, but not all of Tang Huan's memories, he knew them clearly. This was because the mind stigma had yet to reach the stage where it could control Tang Huan's soul. That Nine Yang Divine Furnace was Tang Huan's greatest secret. The memories regarding the Nine Yang Divine Furnace had always been hidden in the deepest part of Tang Huan's soul. Even though Tang Huan would often activate the Nine Yang Divine Furnace, it was still hard for the mind stigma at Sword 1 to capture relevant memories. Sword 1 this is only the beginning. Tang Huan smiled indifferently. As he was speaking, a lot of the sword intent was swept away by the Nine Yang Divine Furnace sucking. What the hell are you doing? The sword was filled with both surprise and anger. Tang Huan glanced at him, and did not say another word, but his eyes revealed a look of ridicule. Time passed bit by bit, as more and more sword intent was absorbed by the Nine Yang Divine Furnace. This sword intent originated from Tang Huan absorbing 108 sword seal. If it were outside, this sword intent would have been replenished from the sword, but now, this sucking was a bit lesser. Unknowingly, the sword intent's offense had gradually weakened, but the pressure on Tang Huan's soul had gradually decreased. On the other hand, Ji and Yi could clearly feel the change in Tang Huan's soul, he could not help but to clench his teeth, as though he wished that he could tear Tang Huan into pieces. However, there was nothing he could do at the moment. He could only watch as Tang Huan absorbed the sword intent from his soul. The large loss of sword intent meant that he had already lost the last method to keep Tang Huan in check. Catching Ji and Yi's furious gaze, Tang Huan suddenly laughed. Ji and Yi. If I were to erase the mind stigma that you left in my soul, wouldn't this test end soon? In the past, due to the concealment of the sword intent, Tang Huan could not sense the existence of the mind stigma. But now, the less sword intent that existed in Tang Huan's soul, the more clearly that mind stigma appeared. Tang Huan, you dare. When Sword One heard this, he turned pale with fright. The reason why he was so confident was because Tang Huan's soul had a mind stigma of his own. Once Tang Huan's soul was incomparably weak, he could replace it in an extremely short period of time. However, if that mind stigma was gone, even if Tang Huan's soul was severely injured, he would still be unable to do anything. Without the mind stigma, it would take a long time for him to take over Tang Huan's body. However, in this Lingzhao ancient road, what he lacked the most was time. This was because from the time that Tang Huan passed the test to him being teleported out of the Lingzhao ancient road, it was probably only for a few breaths of time. If he did not grab hold of this opportunity, all of his plans on Tang Huan's body would have disappeared into thin air. As this thought flashed through his mind, the sword was filled with extreme hatred. Originally, the success rate of possessing his body had been more than 90%, but the current turn of events had caused the success rate to directly become zero. In this Lingzhao ancient road, he had a tyrannical strength that exceeded Tang Huan's, but it was completely useless. This caused the sword to feel both resentment and regret. If he had known earlier, he would have attacked before he entered the Lingzhao ancient road. Of course, since he was occupying Tang Huan's soul outside, he was not sure if he could still enter the Lingzhao ancient road. After all, such an action had already gone against Yun Zan's will, but he would at least be able to live freely in the small world. It was all because of his greed, 
he always wanted to enter the forging god great world. Seems like I've guessed correctly. Tang Huan laughed out loud. He reckoned that the remaining bit of sword intent was not even a threat to his soul. So with a slight thought, he stopped using the divine sense and soul consolidation method. His powerful soul began to follow the mysterious rhythm and faintly fluctuate, actually becoming more and more intense. Tang Huan, stop right now. Tang Huan, didn't you want this old man's power? This old man can give you power, but you must use the spirit concealment bead to bring a part of my soul into the forging god great world. Bastard. You don't want to join Ling Zhao Sword Sect? Without my guidance, you think you can become the disciple of the Ling Zhao Sword Sect? Dot. The voices of Jian Yi rose and fell, some were angry, some were enticing, some were threatening. Tang Huan's expression did not loosen in the slightest. To Tang Huan, number one sword's power could only be used to add fuel to the fire. Without the mind stigma, he could directly pass the test and enter the forging god great world. He did not have to experience the final illusion, and it did not matter if he had strength or not. As for the Ling Zhao sword sect, it was good to be able to join, but there was no harm in being unable to join. Seeing that Tang Huan did not have any reaction, Ji and Yi became even angrier, and his eyes were filled with hatred. However, Tang Huan acted as if he did not see it, and not long after, a small white colored odor appeared from between his brows, its shape was exactly the same as Tang Huan's sword seal from before. This was the mind stigma condensed from the spiritual energy of the sword. In the past, even if Tang Huan was able to sense sword one, the mind stigma was unable to separate it from his own spirit, because sword one's spirit was much stronger than Tang Huan's. Today, Tang Huan's soul was no longer weaker than sword one's, and with Sword One's spirit being restricted by the Ling Zhao ancient road, he was unable to resist, allowing Tang Huan to easily expel the mind stigma. Once the mind stigma appeared from between his brows, Tang Huan felt as if a layer of shackles had been removed from inside his soul. Tang Huan, the hair on the tip of the sword danced wildly, he roared and rushed towards Tang Huan. Kai, Tang Huan squinted his eyes and laughed, then with a flick of his finger, a slight sound of breaking through the air sounded out. That lump of mind stigma in the shape of a sword seal already submerged into the surrounding clouds and mist. In the next moment, as if he had been struck by lightning, Ji and Yi suddenly froze on the ground as his body actually began to fade away at a speed within the reach of the naked eye. Goodbye, Sword One. Tang Huan smiled and waved his hand towards the sword. Tang Huan. You will die a horrible death. Ji and Yi growled in despair, but the moment his voice fell, his figure had already vanished without a trace. Ho! Oh. Almost at the same time, a ball of white light surrounded Tang Huan and his group, and the surrounding clouds and mist began to churn violently like raging waves. Tang Huan subconsciously turned his head around and looked back. The green stone ancient path that had originally disappeared once again appeared. This ancient path should have already been broken through, right? Tang Huan only had a slight thought before a powerful force that was completely unable to resist arrived. It carried Tang Huan and Zhao Budian flying forward. Chapter 687 Entering the Great World Deep in the night, in the center of Foggy Sea Island Previous chapter Next chapter Boom An earth-shaking explosion suddenly burst forth The terrifying sound waves surged out in all directions like a torrent Seeming to resound throughout the entire small world Outside the Ling Zhao Arch The originally anxious crowd all looked up at the same time At this moment the 81 stone pillars in the surroundings were slowly sinking and the rumbling sounds continued without end. Meanwhile, the massive stone arch began to violently tremble, and bright and resplendent rays of light unceasingly blossomed. In an instant, the pitch black night sky was illuminated until it was as bright as day. From the looks of it, could it be that Tang Hua Mat Brat has already passed the Ling Zhao ancient road? Uzi was all smiles. His eyes narrow like slits. That must be it. The old fatty smiled. Great. Shan Shan placed her palms down lightly and a smile appeared between her brows. The worry in her eyes had already been completely replaced by excitement. Since Tang Huan has passed through the Ling Zhao ancient road, 
doesn't that mean that this ancient path has been cleared up, from today onwards, all of the stage 9 experts in our small world can head to the forging god great world? Yu Fian raised her eyebrows and clapped her hands in excitement as she laughed heartily. This little guy finally succeeded at the last moment. A faint smile flashed across Xing Meng's eyes. I wonder how little sister Ru Ming is doing now? Gu, Zhao Ai's cries resounded through the sky, and it was a little impatient. If Feng Ming had not stopped it, the little white rabbit would have already charged into the arch. Dot. Everyone was talking at once, all of them extremely excited. Unknowingly, the 81 massive stone pillars had completely sunk into the ground. The heaven-shaking ringing sound quietly disappeared and the giant stone arch gradually lost its glow. However, it still looked crystal clear, flowing with light and overflowing with color, just like glass. The space inside the arch began to fluctuate rapidly as an enormous whirlpool condensed at a speed that could be seen with the naked eye. It was actually at least a dozen meters in radius. Everyone, I'll be leaving first. Feng Ming looked at the surrounding people in the blink of an eye, his footsteps moved and shot like lightning towards the vortex. Gu, Zhao Ai shouted excitedly and jumped onto Feng Ming's shoulder. In a split second, the man and the rabbit had disappeared into the depths of the whirlpool, completely out of everyone's sight. Whoosh! In a flash of red light, Mu Yan followed closely behind Feng Ming and her, and disappeared into the vortex. Uncle Zhang, Shan Shan looked at Shan Lan, her eyes filled with urgency. Let's go. We'll explain what happened here and it will be over as well. Shan Lan knew what she meant, and smiled, not stopping her. Senior Wu, Senior Yi, Ancestors Eng, Grandpa Yu, take care. Shan Shan looked at Uzi and the rest, then looked at Heavenly Forging City, his expression complex. He did not know when he would be able to return to this small world again, and perhaps, he would never be able to return again. Shan Shan, you are really too silly, I will go find Tang Huan first, ha <laughs> ha. With a loud laugh, another red figure dashed into the whirlpool, and that person was Yu Fian. Humphrey. Shan Shan slightly wrinkled her nose, and her delicate body shot out like a black ray of light. On her shoulder, there were two blood-red spiritual beasts. In the blink of an eye, Yu Fian and Shan Shan had already left the crowd's line of sight. Dot, dot. Tang Huan quickly moved, but his entire body was enveloped by a dense white light, causing his vision to blur, and he was unable to see his surroundings clearly. However, Tang Huan was not worried. He knew that this should be the Ling Zhao ancient road sending him to the Forging God Great World. According to the previously obtained information, the Forging God Great World was incomparably vast, and was probably thousands of times larger than the small world. I wonder where my mother is at the Forging God Great World? It was extremely difficult to find her in such a vast world. Moreover, her mother had come to the small world because she was being hunted by the Tian clan and had left there because the Tian clan was chasing her. Once she returned to the outside world, she might even hide. Finding her would be as difficult as ascending to heaven. In addition, the Ling Zhao ancient road had already been connected. Shan Shan, Feng Ming and senior sister Fian, had they followed them in? According to the information left behind by the letter, all the people who passed through the Ling Zhao ancient road would randomly appear in different parts of the divine great world. In a short period of time, the chances of meeting them would be zero. The next time they would meet would be years later. Thinking about entering the Forging God Great World, Tang Huan's mind was filled with all sorts of thoughts. However, very quickly, Tang Huan had already calmed himself down. While he was quickly shuttling forward, an abnormally boundless energy surged into Tang Huan's body. In just a few breaths of time, the energy had stopped flowing in but Tang Huan could feel that his entire body was filled to the brim with energy. This power, Tang Huan's eyes could not help but reveal a look of surprise. This power was incredibly pure, and in terms of quality, it seemed to be a level higher than Tang Huan's genuine qi and mind power. Once they surged in, they suppressed Tang Huan's power. At this moment, Tang Huan actually had a strange feeling that both his Danshan and soul were being blocked by this power. However, Instead of being alarmed, Tang Huan was happy. He had a feeling that if he absorbed and refined all of these powers, 
his cultivation would definitely reach a whole new level, he would be able to reach the peak of heavenly domain without a problem. The benefits one would get from successfully passing the tests Yunzan left behind were indeed very large. However, even though there were great benefits, there was still a tiny bit of seclusion, which was, before he could refine them to a certain extent, Tang Huan would probably not be able to use the genuine qi or the mind power, and neither would he be able to call upon the divine armament. Upon reaching Forging God Great World, he would not be able to use genuine qi, mind power and divine armament for the time being, so he could only rely on his flesh body. Fortunately, he possessed the sun spirit body. In a moment, Tang Huan's brows relaxed. This kind of situation would probably not occur to Shen Shan. Yu Fian and the others. After all, they were all Ling Zhao ancient road that had been teleported into another world, unlike Tang Huan, who needed to experience countless dangers in order to pass the trial. In the blink of an eye, several days had passed. Ho! Oh. Tang Huan's feet felt like they were stepping on solid ground. The white light enveloping his body quickly dissipated. An abnormally dense amount of spiritual qi of heaven and earth swept over and Tang Huan felt as if he was strolling in a sea of spiritual energy. He was actually relaxed and happy, and his entire body felt extremely comfortable. This kind of wondrous feeling made Tang Huan unable to wait and looked over. But after a moment, his heart skipped a beat. After his line of sight became clear, the first thing he saw was a dark green eyeball as big as a dustpan. Chapter 688 Escape. Vicious beasts? The moment the two words flashed in Tang Huan's mind, Tang Huan felt an exceptionally terrifying aura, which immediately made him realize that this was an extremely powerful heavenly domain fierce beasts, and his strength was probably not much weaker than a secluded night dark king. Upon entering the forging god great world, not only did he run into the heavenly domain fierce beasts, he even directly appeared in front of it. Tang Huan laughed bitterly to himself. If it was in the past, he would be able to escape even if he could not defeat such a fierce beast, but now, his body was filled with the power of the Ling Zhao ancient road. No matter if it was the genuine qi or the genuine qi, he was being suppressed and could only rely on the power of his flesh body. The most troubling thing was that he couldn't activate the space aircraft since he couldn't use the genuine qi. Dot. On Tang Huan's shoulders, Zhao Budian was also shocked by the pair of eyeballs that had suddenly appeared. His mouth was wide open, his two eyes were wide open, and he subconsciously wanted to call out, but before he could do so, the little guy seemed to have realized something, and covered his mouth with two small claws. He swallowed the cry back, and then pointed towards the eyeball in front of him, indicating to Tang Huan. Tang Huan knew what Zhao Budian meant and he also realized that although the heavenly domain fierce beasts in front of him had his eyes open, he was fast asleep and was snoring like thunder. Without any hesitation, Tang Huan immediately focused his mind, held his breath, and quietly retreated without making any sound from his feet. After a few breaths of time, Tang Huan was already more than 10 meters away, and a complete Peng Shao's head appeared in his line of sight. The head was quietly lying on the ground. Not only were its eyes dark green, its body was covered with fine, dark green scales. On its forehead, there were countless fine, sword-shaped protrusions. Powerful air continued to gush out from his black nostrils and his mouth opened slightly below his nostrils. One could see two rows of white sot like teeth, and between the teeth, there were actually bits of flesh left as a foul stench assaulted his nostrils. The head of the beast looked like a small mountain, it was extremely terrifying. However, he couldn't see the back of its head. At this moment, Tang Huan was facing a precipitous cliff and the fierce beast was crouching inside a cave beneath the cliff. Only its head was exposed. Although it was sparse and sparse, the lush foliage almost completely obscured the sunlight, making the area even more indistinct. Occasionally, a few wisps of light would shine down on the beast but it also made the beast's head look all the more terrifying. Tang Huan's heart tensed up, and he retreated step by step. 15 meters, 20 meters. The distance between Tang Huan and the heavenly domain fierce beasts widened bit by bit. After a few more steps, 
he could hide behind the nearest huge tree. With the cover of the huge tree, his movements would become more convenient. After another two to three meters, Tang Huan finally heaved a sigh of relief. At this time, as long as he took a single step back, he would be able to hide behind the tree. Zhao Budian's tensed body, also slightly relaxed. However, right at this moment, Tang Huan suddenly realized, tens of meters away, the eyelids of the heavenly domain fierce beasts seemed to blink, and following that, Tang Huan felt as though two eyes that seemed to focus on him, a strange feeling of being locked onto suddenly arose. This is bad. Tang Huan's mind shook, without hesitation, he turned and rushed forward, in an instant, he had shot across twenty to thirty meters. Zhao Budian couldn't hold it in anymore and cried out Yia and Yia in shock. His two little claws tightly grabbed onto Tang Huan's hair. Roar. The entire space seemed to tremble a bit as if it was being struck by thunder. Tang Huan only felt a buzzing sound in his ears, as though his eardrums were about to be torn apart. In that instant, Tang Huan felt a strong gust of wind sweeping over from behind him. Zhao Budian. Tang Huan's footsteps did not pause at all, and at the same time that he yelled in a low voice, he could not help but turn his head to take a glance. In the next moment, a 20-meter-long green figure drilled out from the cave. Its four limbs were thick, and its body was fat and sturdy. The surface of its body was covered densely in scales, and sharp thorns extended from its head all the way to its tail. It's even a flying vicious beast. Tang Huan was shocked, he couldn't help but curse in his heart. Although he had been discovered, Tang Huan was not too worried just now, because he was already dozens of meters away from the fierce beast. Furthermore, the fierce beast would definitely delay its escape with Zhao Budian, as they would definitely be able to escape in the air in time. Even if Zhao Budian had four pairs of wings, he would still not be able to fly past it. To rush out of the forest and into the sky without any cover, was the same as courting death. Yeah, Zhao Budian was scared out of his wits as well. With a quiver, its bulging body immediately shrunk into its original form. Its dark blue eyes were filled with panic. Whoosh! With his hopes of escaping from the high altitude shattered, Tang Huan no longer had any thoughts of staying alive anymore as he rushed forward desperately. At this time, Tang Huan did not dare hold back at all. The flesh body of Sun Spirit Body had already been unleashed to the limit, and his body was like a ray of light as he jumped through the trees. Every time his feet landed on the ground, there would be countless sand flying everywhere, leaving behind a small dent. Thump, thump. Behind Tang Huan, a series of loud and heavy footsteps resonated outwards causing sand and rocks to fly everywhere as they flew past. The strong gales actually caused all of the surrounding trees to collapse. Could not help but have a bad premonition. From the movements at the back, it was obvious that the heavenly domain fierce beasts was much faster than him. But this time, the speed at which he was moving was much faster than his. Fortunately, they were in the middle of the forest and the surrounding trees and wild beasts were big enough. If they were in a small forest or an open area, the wild beasts could completely ignore any obstacles and keep on crushing them. It wouldn't take long for them to catch up with Tang Huan. Whoosh! Tang Huan's expression was extremely solemn as he hugged Zhao Buddy and closer to his chest. From time to time, he would use the cover of the huge tree to suddenly change the direction he was moving in. Bam! An instant later, a deafening explosion reverberated through the forest. Instantly, cracking sounds and hualala sounds were heard from behind him. Tang Huan didn't even need to turn his head to know what was happening behind him. It was obvious that the heavenly domain fierce beasts wasn't able to dodge in time and directly crashed into a huge tree. The impact of the strike from the heavenly domain fierce beasts was extremely terrifying. A tree as big as this one immediately exploded and collapsed with astonishing momentum. Chapter 689 Despair, roar, howl. Deafening roars sounded out one after another, causing everyone's heart to tremble. Tang Huan was as fast as lightning. Even though the situation was extremely urgent, he had actually become even calmer. At this point in time, panic and fear were useless. Only by maintaining a clear mind could he make all sorts of precise countermeasures. Every time he chose to use the giant tree as a cover, 
Tang Huan would determine the location of the heavenly domain fierce beasts from the sounds coming from behind him and make an accurate choice. Otherwise, not only would it be ineffective, it would also increase the distance between them. Bang, bang, bang. Sounds of violent collisions rose and fell one after another. Huge trees constantly rumbled and collapsed causing even more shocking noises in the forest. Although Tang Huan was not able to use genuine qi and the mind power, he was small in size, his movements were nimble and his speed was not slow. The heavenly domain fierce beasts behind was even faster, but its body was extremely big and it changed direction slowly. Thus, even though it was getting closer to Tang Huan, it could not catch up to him immediately. Most importantly, Every time the heavenly domain fierce beasts ran into a giant tree because he could not dodge in time, his speed would slow down, and Tang Huan would take the chance to increase his distance. Whoosh! The two sides chased each other at high speeds. Unknowingly, both parties had already maintained a distance of tens of meters between them. They traveled for at least a thousand li within this forest, and wherever they passed, Countless footprints and depressions would be left on the ground. Even after fleeing for so long, the heavenly domain fierce beasts had not caught up to him. Not only was Tang Huan not happy in the slightest, he had an even stronger sense of urgency. Although that sun spirit body caused his flesh body to be extremely strong, it was still not able to let him maintain his vigorous spirit and strength forever. And if he continued to run at this speed that had reached the limits of his body for a period of time, the strength of Tang Huan's flesh body would certainly become weaker and his speed would also continue to decrease. In contrast, the heavenly domain fierce beasts behind him, was able to hold on for a much longer time than Tang Huan. If there wasn't a chance, Becoming heavenly domain fierce beasts' food in his stomach seemed to be a foregone conclusion. Tang Huan could not help but frown as his mind raced. <laughs> However, just as Tang Huan was about to think of a way to get rid of the heavenly domain fierce beasts, his expression suddenly changed. The trees in the forest became smaller and smaller, and the light around them became brighter and brighter. If he continued like this, then his hope of using the trees to stop the fierce beasts would be completely destroyed. Perhaps before long, the huge monster behind him would catch up. As time flew by, Tang Huan's worry quickly turned into reality. The area he was currently in was a deep gorge, and several hundred meters away was the end of the gorge. The towering cliffs on both sides began to shrink rapidly forming a narrow passage that was only 20 or 30 meters wide. There were bushes growing close to the passage. As for the area between him and the passage, it was filled with small trees. In this sort of place, there was no way he could escape the pursuit of that vicious beast. FCK, are we really going to die here today? Tang Huan's heart held a trace of bitterness. At this point, wanting to turn around and rush into the depths of the canyon once again was completely impossible. At this moment, Tang Huan had nowhere to retreat to. He could only keep walking forward, but in front of him, there was similarly a dead end. Although the cauldron of Nine Yang Divine Furnace in the Danshan was mystical, being able to refine the strange energy that filled Tang Huan's body at an astonishing rate, due to the lack of time, no matter how fast the refinement process was, it was impossible to allow the genuine qi and the genuine qi to escape that kind of suppression. Moreover, the suppression from the power made Tang Huan unable to even use spiritual fire. Tang Huan's mind raced, but he did not dare to stop even for a moment. Even so, the movement behind him was still getting more and more intense, and it could be seen that the distance between him and the heavenly domain fierce beasts was constantly shrinking. As for the seemingly unobstructed canyon passage in front of him, he was also getting closer and closer. Zhao Budian, you go first. Tang Huan finally came to a decision, gritted his teeth, and threw Zhao Budian out of his arms. He no longer had any hope of escaping, but Zhao Budian could not follow him and lose his life here. With him blocking for a while, Zhao Budian had a high chance of escaping. Unfortunately, he would not be able to see his mother. Shen Shan, Master and the rest in the future. He hoped that when they entered the Forging God Great World, 
they would not be as unlucky as him. Yeah, Zhao Budian was startled and anxious, as she screamed and tried to stabilize her body, but Tang Huan's throw was too sudden, and she had even used all her strength, causing it to not even have time to extend her wings, as her small body immediately turned into a ray of blue light, and pierced through the canyon in an instant. Tang Huan suddenly stopped in his tracks, turned his body, and stared at the fierce beast that was rushing towards him. The ferocious beast had been chasing for so long, and it seemed like it did not expect Tang Huan to stop running away suddenly. It stopped and looked down at Tang Huan condescendingly, a hint of surprise in its huge eyes. Evil creature, if you want to kill me, then come over. Tang Huan roared, her gaze was fierce. Her skin had a faint gold sheen. At this time, the vicious beast was only 20 meters away from him. A terrifying aura engulfed the entire sky and earth, bringing a huge pressure to Tang Huan. Roar! The heavenly domain fierce beasts was enraged, its mouth releasing an earth-shaking roar, and its dark green eyes flashed with a cruel and bloodthirsty cold light. In the next moment, its huge body abruptly scurried forward opening its huge mouth and pouncing towards Tang Hua to bite him, as large droplets of saliva dripped down. Ho! Oh. Almost at the same time, Tang Huan fiercely stomped on the ground with both of his feet, his slender and robust body shot out like a cannonball into the air, his gigantic right fist smashed towards the head of the gigantic beast crazily. Wherever the fist passed, wind howled, and it seemed as though a huge hole had been created in the air. Bam! After a moment, the sound of the huge impact resounded through the sky. Tang Huan's fist was like lightning, imprinted between the two nostrils of the huge beast. Roar! The spot where Tang Huan was standing was extremely soft and soft. Heavenly domain fierce beasts immediately cried out in pain, but the force of his pounce brought about a terrifying impact, causing Tang Huan who was in the air to immediately fly out like a kite with its string cut heavily smashing into the ground tens of meters away. Previous chapter next chapter boom. Dust flew everywhere, and a huge crater immediately appeared on the ground. Roar. The vicious beast let out another furious roar as its body suddenly shot forward. Its long tail was like a thick iron rod as it flew towards the pit at a speed faster than lightning. With a loud bang, the dust rolled to both sides like a tidal wave. At almost the same time, Tang Huan also flipped out from the edge of the pit, dodging the fierce beast's tail, but just as he stabilized his steps, that tail actually swept towards him again. Chapter 690, Surviving So fast, Tang Huan's face changed slightly as both his arms went forward to block the blow. In the blink of an eye, Tang Huan's arm had already collided with the ferocious beast's long tail. Bam! Amidst the loud sound. Tang Huan was actually sent flying dozens of meters back like he had been defeated, and his body smashed heavily onto the hard cliff. As the terrifying energy howled madly at him, in the absence of the Nine Yang Divine Furnace sucking, even if Tang Huan possessed the Sun Spirit body, he still found it a little hard to endure. In the next moment, Tang Huan, who had just landed on the ground, spat out a mouthful of golden blood. The two arms that directly collided with the beast's tail were in extreme pain. The arm bones that were wrapped in flesh and skin seemed to be fractured. Roar! His roar resounded throughout the world, as the huge beast's green figure pounced over. His eyes were sinister, as he bared his fangs, and its two front claws seemed to want to tear Tang Huan apart. Ho! Oh. Tang Huan endured the pain, supporting himself on the ground with his arms. He slid to the side at the fastest speed possible. The fierce beast missed, and the power that exploded from its two claws created a deep crater on the ground at the bottom of the cliff. Immediately afterwards, Peng Shao twisted his body, and his long tail immediately changed its direction, sweeping towards Tang Huan once again. Tang Huan had just jumped up when the tail was towards him from behind. Ho! Oh, in his haste. Tang Huan had no time to dodge. He could only let out an angry roar, and swing his fist to the side, blocking the attack. Bam! Tang Huan flew out once again. While in midair, he had already spat out a few mouthfuls of fresh blood, and after heavily smashing down onto the ground, he was no longer able to stand up immediately. The terrifying power of the fierce beast came crashing over like a torrent 
causing Tang Huan to feel as if his internal organs had been crushed. Roar! The beast let out an evil roar and leaped into the air. Its large eyes were filled with a dark green, cold, and bloodthirsty light. Yeah! An anxious cry suddenly sounded, and a blue figure suddenly flew over from the side, frantically rushing towards the fierce beast. It was Zhao Budian who was flung away by Tang Huan earlier, and he flew back from the canyon entrance his body already expanding to the limit as four pairs of wings flapped rapidly. The fierce beast was incomparably furious. Its huge wings stretched out and its body actually stopped in the air. Its long tail ruthlessly lashed out towards the blue figure. Zhao Budian. Tang Huan was shocked. Zhao Budian actually ran back. Wasn't that just seeking death? Tang Huan was moved and anxious at the same time but he did not have the time to say anything else. He immediately endured the pain as he turned around and shot towards the fierce beast. The sun spirit body allowed Tang Hua to have a strong recovery ability. Although it was impossible for the injuries on his body to immediately heal, it still allowed his vitality to become extremely exuberant. It was enough to make one lose the ability to move. Yet Tang Huan was still able to launch an attack. Whoosh! Tang Huan's body moved like a ray of light. In an instant, he appeared below the neck of the beast, and thrusted his fist upwards. Roar! Heavenly Domain fierce beasts seemed to be thoroughly enraged as a large amount of dense dark green aura surged from his body like a wave. At a speed that was difficult to see with the naked eye, a thin film of something condensed on the surface of his body, violently fluctuating like ripples. At this time, the fierce beasts had actually activated Heavenly Domain. In a split second, Zhao Budian's sharp horn had pierced the beast's tail. Almost at the same time, Tang Huan's fist had ruthlessly smashed against the beast's neck. Yeah! Zhao Budian cried out in pain. His body, like a meteorite falling from the sky, shot out diagonally and fell at the exit of the canyon. After Tang Huan punched the barrier, he immediately dropped to the ground. High up in the sky, the heavenly domain fierce beasts was first smashed by Tang Huan's fist until his head was held high, but shortly afterwards, his massive body floated 10 meters horizontally across the sky, but his long tail still tumbled backwards like lightning. It tore through the air and landed on Tang Huan's left hip. Bam! Tang Huan could not help but let out a stuffy groan as his body flew out uncontrollably and smashed into the ground next to Zhao Budian's body. The beast's attack made Tang Huan feel as if all the bones in his body had been broken. He was unable to move anymore. Golden blood flowed out from his mouth and his face was as white as paper. Yeah! Zhao Budian pounced in front of Tang Huan and barely supported himself up, but as he shook his body, it quickly shrank. In that moment, it had turned into a small ball. It seems like we are going to die together. The corners of his mouth were full of bitterness. Although he had withstood with all his might and did not faint, he no longer had the strength to resist, and he even more so had the power to dodge. Zhao Budian's strength was low, so he was similarly not able to fight against the fierce beast. Roar! The heavenly domain fierce beasts roared out. In the next moment, it retracted its wings and landed heavily on the ground, walking towards Tang Huan and Zhao Budian step by step. Almost every time its foot landed, the ground would shake violently, giving people a huge pressure. Inside his pupils, the fierce beast's figure was approaching closer and closer, causing Tang Huan to helplessly close his eyes. Evil creature, get the hell back. Right at this moment, an explosive shout suddenly sounded out like a thunderclap in the sky. Tang Huan was startled, his eyes subconsciously opening. In that moment a gigantic purple light whizzed past like a waterfall from the sky, bringing with it an incomparably berserk chi. It rushed towards the fierce beast. Roar! The vicious beast let out a furious roar as it suddenly retreated. At the same time, the purple light landed on the ground. In a split second, sand and dust filled the air. Gales swirled, and a huge hole quickly took shape. The area within a radius of 10 meters had become hazy and hazy. Whoosh! A light sound of breaking through the air rang out, and an exceptionally tall figure actually appeared within Tang Huan's line of sight. Her feet were naked, and her two long, beautiful legs were not concealed in the slightest. However, on her legs, there was a piece of beast skin that covered her perky buttocks 
and as her buttocks went up, her slim waist and her smooth back entered her sight. At this moment, she was standing between Tang Huan and the fierce beast. She held a purple pike in her hands, and her long hair fluttered behind her head, as though she was a war god. Tang Huan was pleasantly surprised. She never thought that at the moment when she was already in despair, there would actually be someone who would save her. But in the next moment, Tang Huan's heartstrings tightened, even though this woman was strong, judging from the qi being emitted from her body. She was probably not as strong as the fierce beast. If she failed to save him and forced him in here instead, even if Tang Huan died, he wouldn't be able to calm down. Roar. However, before Tang Huan could even open his mouth to urge the woman to leave, the fierce beast opposite him bared its sharp fangs and let out a low growl. Deep fear seemed to flash within its large dark green eyes, and then, it actually retreated step by step. Miss. You. However, after the boulder in his heart fell to the ground, Tang Huan was unable to hold on any longer. Before he could finish speaking, his consciousness had already swiftly sunk into the ground. Chapter 691, Chen Yu In a daze, Tang Huan felt as if he had turned into a small boat in a giant wave, floating and swaying non-stop. After an unknown period of time, Tang Huan finally woke up. He slowly opened his eyes and realized that he was inside an ancient small hut. The room was very simple and unadorned. Other than the wooden bed and chairs, there was nothing else. Yeah. A soft grunt suddenly sounded. Zhao Budian who was lying on top of Tang Huan's chest shook his head, but after a moment, it seemed to have sensed something, and suddenly opened its eyes and looked towards Tang Huan. Their four eyes met and Zhao Budian's eyes immediately lit up. He flapped his four pairs of wings excitedly and licked his face. Zhao Budian. Tang Huan laughed out loud as he held the little fellow's small body and sat up straight. His heart was filled with joy after surviving a calamity. At that time at the exit of the canyon, he had already accepted his fate, but he did not expect his savior to descend from the sky and force the powerful heavenly domain fierce beasts to leave. Tang Huan could guess what happened next. It was obvious that after he fell unconscious, that girl brought him and Zhao Budian back. Seeing Zhao Budian's situation, her injuries had probably already completely improved. As for himself, Tang Huan secretly sensed for a bit, and quickly discovered that his flesh body's injuries had all healed as well. With his son's spirit body, as long as he was given some time, he would be able to heal his injuries, no matter how heavy they were. What kind of place is this? Tang Huan's face revealed a slight smile, and he jumped down from the wooden bed. Just as he stretched his limbs, Tang Huan was stunned, and then he was at a loss whether to laugh or cry. His shoes and the tattered robe that was stained with gold blood, had already been taken off. Currently, Tang Huan was barefoot as well, with a piece of black beast skin wrapped around his waist. The space aircraft that was originally in his embrace had also been stuffed into his waist, revealing a small half of it. This kind of clothing, which revealed more than half of his body, made Tang Huan feel a little uncomfortable. However, upon thinking about his savior's outfit, Tang Huan felt at ease. Creak. The door suddenly opened, and a thin figure walked in. It was a delicate and pretty youth with a beast skin around his waist. He was around 11 or 12 years old and had a basin of water in his hands. You. You woke up so soon? It's completely different from what my elder sister said. Looking at Tang Huan who was standing in front of the bed, the skinny boy exclaimed as he opened his eyes in disbelief. Little bro. Was it your sister who saved me and brought me back? Tang Huan's heart was moved. Of course. The skinny boy nodded subconsciously. Immediately after, he placed the water basin on the table, and sized Tang Huan up with incomparable shock. You don't know how miserable it was when you were brought back by my big sis. Hearing my big sis say that there were many broken bones and dislocated bones in your body, especially your internal organs. All of them nearly ruptured. After my sister gave you medicine, she said that it would take you at least 10 days to half a month to wake up. If you want to get off the bed, you would need at least a month. Hearing that, Tang Huan laughed. Little brother, what your sister said is absolutely correct. If I were an ordinary person, it would indeed take me that long to wake up, 
but my body's recovery ability is much stronger than an ordinary person's, so I can move freely right now. Is it because of it? The frail-looking youth pointed at Zhao Budian who was already lying on Tang Huan's shoulder, looking rather curious. Tang Huan thought for a moment, then asked, You recognize it? The thin teenager shook his head. I don't know him but my sister does seem to know him. She said that this little beast is very helpful in healing wounds. Is that true? Indeed. Tang Huan nodded and smiled. He did not hide anything. This youth soldier's sister had obviously already recognized Zhao Budian's background, but she didn't covet his beauty, causing Tang Huan to sigh with emotion. After fainting, Tang Huan could no longer resist, and it was the same for Zhao Budian. If that lady had any evil intentions, she could have killed him and brought Zhao Budian back, but she did not do so. Instead, she brought and him back to their home for treatment. Towards that young lady, Tang Huan's heart was even more moved. Pausing slightly, Tang Huan smiled again, and said, Little brother, where is your sister? If it wasn't for your sister forcing that beast away, I really won't be able to keep my little wife. My sister went hunting with the villagers. It will be a few days before she comes back. The thin and weak youth was somewhat depressed. But immediately after, his eyes lit up. I heard from my sister that the fierce beast you met is called saber-toothed green carapace beast. It is the strongest fierce beast in our area. However, it doesn't dare to hurt our people. Otherwise, even my sister wouldn't be able to save you. Although my sister is the strongest expert among the younger generation in the village, she is still a bit inferior to that saber-toothed green carapace beast. Oh yeah, I also heard my sister say that you were at least chased by your saber-toothed green carapace beast and ran for a few thousand miles. As he finished speaking, the thin and weak youth's eyes were already shining and his eyes were filled with admiration. How is this amazing? I was almost eaten by that guy. Hearing the skinny youth's words, Tang Huan could not help but burst out laughing, and then said, Little brother, my name is Tang Huan, I still don't know how to address you and your sister. The skinny teenager laughed, Big brother Tang Huan, I am called Chen Mu, my sister is called Chen Yu. Chen Mu, Chen Yu. After muttering these two names once, Tang Huan suddenly looked at Chen Mu and said gratefully, Little brother Chen Mu, thank you for taking care of me these past two days. Nothing, nothing, I didn't do anything. Chen Mu repeatedly waved his hand, and said with a bit of a blush on his face, Big brother Tang Huan, you can walk now, how about I take you on a tour around our Chen village? Alright, then I'll be troubling you little brother. Tang Huan chuckled, Big brother Tang Huan. Our Chen village. Chen Mu laughed blushing, he walked to the side of the door and introduced the place to Tang Huan, but before he could finish, a cry of surprise could be heard from afar, not good, not good, those bastards from Tai, Iron, village are running over, Tai, Iron, village. Chen Mu's face changed as he suddenly rushed out of the hut. Chen village, Tai, Iron, village. Seeing that, Tang Huan could not help but frown. And just as he followed her to the door, he seemed to have thought of something, and quickly carried Zhao Budian off his shoulder, and warned, Zhao Budian, I will go over to take a look, you stay here for now, don't go out, yeah. Zhao Budian nodded obediently. After placing Zhao Budian on the table, Tang Huan walked out with large strides. When he walked out of the wooden house, he casually pulled the door shut. Chapter 692 Amethyst Thunder Lion In the canyon surrounded by three sides of the mountain, many roads intersected and wooden houses were decorated in between, forming a small village. This was the Chen village that Chen Mu was talking about. Tang Huan caught up to Chen Mu in a few steps. At this time, the two were most likely deep within the canyon, and there were quite a few figures running towards the mouth of the valley. When Tang Huan and Chen Mu arrived at the wide open ground at the entrance of the valley, there were already hundreds of figures gathered. They were all young men and women, dressed in the same clothes as Chen Mu, with all kinds of weapons in their hands. They were all villagers of Chen village. Opposite the group of villagers stood over a dozen young men and women. Tang Huan and Chen Mu stood at the back of the villagers and felt a chill in their hearts. The people in front of them were all extremely strong, almost all of them were stage 9 martial saint s, 
and there was even a heavenly domain level expertess. Amongst this group of villagers in Chen village, there were plenty of stage 7 martial masteress and martial lordess of the 8th step, and there were also two stage 9 martial saintess. On the way, he heard from Chen Mu that all the powerful young experts of Chen village had all gone out to hunt. Adding Chen Yu and the others to the mix, there were 12 stage 9 martial saint s in the young generation, and there were even two in the younger generation. The level of strength of the cultivators of forging God Great World was definitely not something a small world could compare to, had long since been mentally prepared for this, but what Tang Huan had never thought of was that the true situation of forging God Great World was actually far beyond his expectations. In forging God Great World, Chen Village and Tai, Iron, Village were presumably just some unknown little village. But in these two villages, there were three heavenly domain level expertess and more than 20 stage 9 martial saintess. If you added in the seniors from two other villages, the number of stage 9 martial saintess and heavenly domain level expertess would definitely be even more shocking. This forging god great world was like a modern society with all kinds of high technology. After the small world broke away from the forging god great world, it was as if the small world had fallen from the modern world to the primitive society, even now, it had only just touched the edge of the modern world. It was no wonder that the expert called Yunzan in Lingzhao Sword Sect would set up a lightning domain to isolate the Turbid Sea area. Otherwise, he would be able to act as he pleased in the small world by himself and the small world would never be able to develop to such a state. I wonder where Shen Shan, Feng Ming, Senior Sister Fian, and Master will be teleported to once they enter the Lingzhao Ancient Road. Tang Huan frowned, he suddenly became worried. In Forging God Great World, there were almost all over the place, if they were not careful they might encounter danger. However, Tang Huan didn't even know where they were currently, and didn't even know if they had passed through the Lingzhao Ancient Road to come to the outside world. Furthermore, with Tang Huan's current situation and the vastness of the Forging God Great World, even if he knew their position, he would still not be able to do anything. In that moment, Tang Huan suddenly had a strong desire for power. As long as he possessed sufficient strength, even if Shen Shen and the others were to spread throughout every part of the Forging God Great World, there was hope of finding them all. Where's that bitch Chen Yu? He is hiding and not daring to come out? A voice that sounded like the voice of a broken gong woke Tang Huan up. He subconsciously looked over and saw a young man from Tai, Iron, village laughing loudly, a full face full of mustache, a tall and sturdy build, holding on to a three meter long mace, his entire body brimming with a ferocious aura. Tai Fangalai, you truly have no sense of shame. Didn't you guys only come over to cause trouble because you saw that Big Sister Chen Yu was not around? If Big Sister Chen Yu is here, why don't you try stepping into Chen Village? The moment the Tai, Iron, Village's man's voice fell, a sneer came out. The one who spoke was a young man from Chen Village, skinny and tall with a face full of anger. In his hand was a long spear, and his body emitted an extremely powerful chi. He was one of the two stage 9 martial saintess. If big sister Chen Yu was here, they wouldn't even dare to come to our Chen village. That's right, these bastards are too despicable. Tai Fangalai, this amethyst thunder lion cub was obviously caught by us. Even if we put it in, we will not give it to you. Dot. Many of the Chen village's villagers looked at each other with furious expressions. Only now did Tang Huan realize that a young lady from the Chen village was holding a small beast in her hands. It was as big as a kitten, it was fluffy and completely purple. It was obvious that this little beast had been born not long ago. It couldn't even open its eyes. At this moment, it was curled up into a ball, sleeping soundly in the arms of the young woman. Amethyst Thunder Lion Tang Huan glanced at the little fellow and roughly understood what was going on. The two stage 9 martial saints and a few Thai, Iron, villages villagers had discovered the infant Amethyst Thunder Lion at about the same time. After a fight, the few Thai, Iron, villages villagers were no match, so the infant was taken away by the two Chen villages stage 9 martial saints stage 9 martial saints villagers. In the end, 
The two Chen villages had only just returned when the experts of the younger generation of the Tai, Iron, village immediately caught up. Chen Rui, we took great pains to kill two amethyst thunder lions. Just as we followed the footprints and found their lair, you guys interfered and stole their baby. How could there be such a cheap thing in the world? A gloomy voice suddenly echoed out. The one who spoke was a robust, horse-faced man around the age of 27 or 28. He held a long, dark blade in his hand. Although the horse-faced man's appearance was not exceptional, he was the only heavenly domain level expert among the people from Tai, Iron, Village. Tai Fengen, what do you say? Do you have any proof that you killed those two amethyst thunder lions? Chen Rui said angrily. My words are evidence. Tai Fengen curled his lips in disdain. Chen Rui, cut the crap. Today, you have to hand over the infant amethyst thunder lion, even if you don't want to, you have to hand it over. Saying that. His gaze landed on the Chen village woman who was hugging her cubs. I'll count to three, if you guys hand it over again, we can only take it ourselves. This is too much. Chen Fu, you take the baby and go to the back, we'll block them from the front. Tai Feng and, wait for big sister Chen Yu to come back. I will definitely not let you guys off. Dot. The plaza immediately erupted in an uproar. The people of Chen village were furious their eyes spewing fire. The dozens of Thai, Iron, village men and women all looked at him with ridicule. One, Tai Feng and laughed out loud, and a number came out of his mouth. Chen Ru and the other handsome young man immediately took a few steps forward. They were the two stage 9 martial saintess. On the opposite side were over a dozen stage 9 martial saintess and a heavenly domain level expert. However, even if there was a huge difference in the number of people between the two sides, there was not the slightest trace of fear in their expressions. Chapter 693, Attack 2 Tai Feng and's face turned gloomy, his gaze became cold, and the instant the word came out from his mouth, he started to slowly walk forward, with Tai Feng Lai and the ten over people behind him pressing down on him as well. In a split second, the atmosphere in this space became incomparably oppressive, with both sides about to erupt. Under the pressure of a group of heavenly domain level expertess and stage 9 martial saint S, the numerous young men and women of Chen village were under the pressure and instead of retreating, they advanced instead. 3. Seeing that, Tai Feng and snorted, a sinister smile actually flashing past his eyes, and he bellowed, Chen Rui, since you all are asking for trouble, then I can only grant your wish. With that, he waved his hand. Go, capture the infant amethyst thunder lion. Whoosh, whiz. The moment Tai Feng and's voice fell, six young men and women pounced towards Chen Ru and the other two like lightning, while the rest of the Tai, Iron, villages whistled past and rushed towards the other villagers of Chen village, all of them releasing a sinister chi, their aura is oppressing. These Tai, Iron, Villages were like tigers in a flock of sheep. Although there were a large number of villagers and the ones in front were all martial lordess and stage 7 martial masteress of the 8th step, they were not their opponents. For a time, cries of pain rose and fell as figures were blasted away one by one. Chen Ru and the other two stage 9 martial saint s looked extremely furious when they saw this scene, but they were all being surrounded by the other three. Furthermore, they were already in dire straits due to the crazy attacks of the other party, they were unable to come up with a way to support their opponents, and could only roar in anger. Tai Feng and, the Tai, Iron, village did not make a move. When he saw the scene before him, his lips curled up and his face revealed a ridiculing smile. Boom, boom. Tai Feng Lai was like a wild beast that had escaped its cage. He knocked the two Chen village villagers in front of him with his spiked club and rushed towards the young lady named Chen Fu. He reached out his thick arm that was covered in black fur and grabbed at the little purple beast in her embrace. Give it to me. Chen Fu clenched his teeth and retreated, but she was only a stage 7 martial master. Her speed was incomparable to Tai Feng Lai's. In a blink of an eye, her palm leaf-like palm was already close at hand. However, just as he was about to grab the infant amethyst thunder lion into his palm, Tai Feng Lai suddenly felt his wrist tighten, as if something was holding him tightly in the air. 
unable to advance any further. In the next moment, a slender figure appeared in his line of sight. Tai Fengalai's face suddenly changed. He had already discovered that the one grabbing his wrist was the right hand of the person facing him. However, before he could clearly see the other party's appearance, he felt a tremendous force surging towards him. This sudden turn of events stunned everyone around them. Regardless of whether it was the Tai, Iron, Village or the villagers, they all looked over in the blink of an eye. All of their gazes landed on the young man who was standing in front of Chen Fu. Even Chen Ru and the others had stopped their actions. Huh? Tai Fingan also noticed the change. His eyebrows knitted together, as he exclaimed in surprise. He had already sensed that among the group of fellows, only Chen Ru and the other two were stronger, the rest were not worth mentioning. Where did this person come from? With just a swing of his hand, Tai Fengalai uncontrollably retreated so far away. What was even more inconceivable to him was that from the fluctuations of his aura, the young man didn't seem to have cultivated it before. This meant that he had only used brute force just now. Just with brute force, he was able to defeat Tai Fengalai. Not only was Tai Feng surprised, Chen Mu felt that this was unbelievable. His eyes were fixated on the figure not far away. His mouth opened wide enough to stuff two eggs into it. The one who acted just now was Tang Huan. He never thought that Tang Huan, who had just awakened, would actually be so powerful. The surrounding Chen village villagers all looked at each other in dismay. They had heard about Chen Yu saving a person and bringing him back, but they did not care too much about the person who had been unconscious for the past two days. Only now did they realize that that person had already awoken. Moreover, it seemed that he still possessed quite a decent strength. Who are you? Tai Fengalai suddenly stood up straight, his eyes wide open, his anger turning into a roar. Although he was not injured, but a dignified expert of peak stage 9, in front of everyone's eyes, had been humiliated to such an extent that it made him feel humiliated, and his dark face immediately swelled to a dark purple color. I am Chen Huan. Tang Huan squinted his eyes and did not announce his name, but hearing his words, the other Chen village villagers were all startled. Chen Huan, get out of my way. Tai Fengalai roared, his body leaping forward, the mace in his hand raised to the sky, with the force of a thunderbolt powerful, it smashed down straight at Tang Huan's head, the terrifying strength Qi spread out, immediately creating a near-piercing sound, the sound was extremely terrifying, like a mountain collapsing. However, Tang Hua turned a deaf ear, did not dodge or evade, and his body remained standing and unmoving. Tang, brother Chen Huan, be careful. Chen Yu woke up from his stupor, and upon seeing the scene before him, his expression changed as he shouted out loud, Get out of the way! Many villagers of Chen village also shouted in shock. Whoosh! Just as the mace was about to land on Tang Huan's head, he finally moved, stepping forward his body going berserk as his right palm suddenly raised. Bam! With a violent cry, Tang Huan's palm had already struck the mace, and with an immense force, the mace immediately bounced up high. Tai Fingalai who had just stepped on the ground felt his arm go numb, both of his palms were stung with pain and he could no longer hold Don. The long weapon in his hands flew out and smashed backwards. Tai Fengalai never thought that the Chen Huan fellow would be able to send his own weapon flying with a palm strike. He could not help but change his expression, but before he could even react, the figure had already appeared in front of him, and a fist was quickly expanding in his pupils. Bam! After another loud noise, Tai Fengalai's body was like a kite with a broken string, flying 20 to 30 meters back before heavily hitting the ground beside Tai Fengen. When he was about to hit the ground, Tai Fengalai let out a painful howl like an injured beast, and then fainted. For a time, the vast plaza sank into a deathly silence. Everyone looked at Tang Huan with their mouths agape. The entire crowd was so quiet that even a pin drop could be heard, especially Chen Ru and the other Chen village villagers. They simply could not believe their eyes. Tang Huan had only slapped out a palm and smashed out a fist, yet he had actually easily defeated Tai Fengalai of the peak stage 9. If the one who acted was Chen Yu, to have such an outcome, it was not surprising. But Tang Huan, who took action, had just fainted from serious injuries two days ago, 
and had just woken up today. Most importantly, Tang Huan's aura was fluctuating which made him seem like someone who did not cultivate at all. Chapter 694, Hit Me, Let's Attack Together. A furious shout sounded out, and immediately after, the seven young men and women nearby all brandished their weapons at the same time, and pounced towards Tang Huan. A violent and unrestrained strength Qi swept out wantonly. Within a radius of ten meters around Tang Huan, the air fluctuated rapidly, as if it was about to be torn into countless pieces. Big Brother Chen Huan, be careful. Despicable. Shameless. Dot. Chen Mu and the others woke up from their days either reminding them or scolding them. However, amongst their group, the stronger martial lordess of the Eighth Step were all injured, the remaining of them could not possibly participate in the battle to this extent. Seeing so many Thai, Iron, village experts surrounding and attacking Tang Huan, although they were worried, they could do nothing. The six experts of Thai, Iron, village surrounding Chen Ru and the others, upon seeing this, couldn't help but sneer. Although that guy called Chen Huan could easily defeat Tai Fengalai alone, he was currently facing against seven experts whose strength wasn't much weaker than Tai Fengalai. However, after just one or two breaths of time, the smiles on their faces froze. Bang, bang. The deafening sound of a collision suddenly resounded. The seven of them left quickly and retreated even faster. In everyone's line of sight, one figure after another flew out. When they came back to their senses, the seven experts from the Thai, Iron, village were all flung dozens of meters away with weapons in their hands. Three of them fainted, and four of them laid on the ground groaning. Seeing this scene, everyone's eyes almost popped out of their sockets. The combined strength of seven people was not a match for Chen Huan. It was fine that they weren't a match, but to think that they would be the same as Tai Fingalai. Defeated without a second thought, could it be that this fellow who looked like he had never cultivated before, was actually a heavenly domain level expert? Chen Ru and the other six Thai, Iron, village experts looked at each other, and they could see the unconcealable shock in each other's eyes. Everyone around was shocked, but Tang Huan remained calm. Although his genuine qi, mind power, and even the four great spiritual fire ass were all suppressed within his body by the mysterious power that originated from the Lingzhao ancient road. The powerful flesh body energy brought about by the sun spirit body allowed him to possess a strength that was not inferior to an ordinary heavenly domain level expert. The current Tang Huan was not a match for the powerful fierce beast called saber toothed green carapace beast, but he easily dealt with some of the stage nine martial saintess. Who the hell are you? You are definitely not one of them in Chen village. A gloomy and cold voice suddenly sounded. The one who spoke was Tai Feng An, and he walked towards Tang Huan step by step with an extremely ugly expression. Previously, when Tai Feng Lai had easily defeated him, he did not put Tang Huan to heart too much. At this time, he finally started to look straight at the guy called Chen Huan. I am Chen Huan, as for whether you believe me or not. What does that have to do with me? Tang Huan laughed sinisterly. You, Tai Feng An was furious when he heard this. He knew that there was no one named Chen Huan in all of the young experts of the Chen village. Of course, this didn't mean that the fellow had been hiding in the dark all along, so he wasn't known. But even so, his existence could hide from outsiders, but it was impossible for him to hide from the villagers, and looking at the expressions of Chen Ru and the many Chen villages. It was clear that they did not know that Chen Huan possessed such strength. This was completely illogical. After a moment, Tai Feng An suddenly suppressed the raging anger in his chest, and sneered, Right and wrong is only because you want to stand up for me. No matter if you are from Chen village, since you want to become enemies with us Tai, Iron, village, I will let you know now, that there are some things that require a heavy price to be paid. Hearing Tai Feng An's words, Many people from Chen village seemed to have realized something, and their expressions changed greatly. Although Tang Huan had displayed astonishing strength, no one felt that Tang Huan was able to contend against Tai Feng An, who had already stepped into the heavenly domain two years ago.
This was completely a subconscious thought. Tai Fengen, do you even have any shame? An expert of the heavenly domain actually dared to make a move against someone who has never cultivated before. Chen Rui was startled and angry. He subconsciously wanted to charge over, but the moment he moved his feet, the Tai, Iron, village experts surrounding him blocked his path. Chen Huan, eat this. Tai Fengen's face darkened, he roared and sprinted towards Tang Huan like a runaway horse, the dark black long blade in his hand danced quickly, the majestic strength she whistled out, and actually swept up an extremely violent black storm, that lingered around the wide blade body rolling forward. Sand and stones flew everywhere, and the skies changed color. Terrifying waves of energy surged out in all directions, sensing the might of Tai Fengen's blade. The expressions of everyone in the surrounding Chen village changed. However, they could not resist the pressure that originated from the heavenly domain level expert at all, and all of them involuntarily retreated dozens of meters away. However, what surprised everyone was that under this terrifying might, Tang Huan's body did not move an inch. Not only that, Tang Huan even revealed a slight smile. Chen Rui, Chen Mu and the rest were all startled. He could still laugh at a time like this. Ho! Oh, in the blink of an eye, the black storm was right in front of him. Tang Huan's expression darkened slightly as he suddenly took a step forward. Wherever the fist passed by, a whistling sound would be heard, bringing about a similarly violent wind. Previous chapter next chapter boom. After a moment, the gale collided with the incoming black tornado, causing the strength chi to wreak havoc, causing ripples to appear in the air. However, the impact from the clash did not shake Tang Huan at all. In the next moment, Tang Huan's right fist passed through the violent strength chi in front of him and landed on the blade's body with lightning speed. Bam! The deafening sound shook the world. After a moment, the body of the long blade seemed to have been struck by a huge hammer, as it swung diagonally out, and Tai Fengen who was holding onto the blade also moved two steps horizontally. Dot. Seeing this scene, Chen Rui, Chen Mu and the others who were initially worried for Tang Huan, were all extremely shocked. The Tai, Iron, village experts who were either lying down or standing up were also shocked, but their hearts were overwhelmed with shock. Tai Fengen's strength was not something that Tai Fengli could compare to. He was a genuine heavenly domain level expert. The attack he had launched just now was even more powerful. Yet he could not deal with Tang Huan? Could it be that this Chen Huan was actually a stronger heavenly domain level expert, who had deliberately concealed his true qi, and then pretended to not have cultivated in order to act like a pig to eat the tiger? Very good, Chen Huan, I have truly underestimated you. Tai Fengen stabilized his steps, he also stabilized the black blade in his hand, but his face was ashen. The shame and anger in his heart could not be described with words. Take another stab at me. With a low roar, Tai Fing and waved his blade and hacked down. Almost at the same time, a thick black aura surged out of his body like a flood and with a frightening speed, it swept out in all directions. In the blink of an eye, it had enveloped an area of over 10 meters around Tang Huan. Chapter 695 Who the hell are you? Heavenly Domain? Tang Huan's eyes flashed. This was exactly the same as what he had predicted. Although Tai Fengen was a heavenly domain level expert, his cultivation was still at the initial stages of heavenly domain, and his strength was probably at the same level as Fen Tian's embodiment, which he had fought against Tang Huan in the Dark Abyss back then. Compared to secluded Night Dark King, Sword One, and the saber toothed green carapace beast, he could not be compared at all. Fortunately, this was the case. Otherwise, he would have been in a miserable state today. With Tang Huan's current strength, he would only be able to escape if he met with the saber-toothed green carapace beast. However, he still had the strength to fight this Tai Fengen. Ho! Oh. With a thought, Tang Hua turned his body slightly, and once again sent a fist flying towards the blade. At this moment, he was in the middle of Tai Fingan's heavenly domain and an enormous pressure was pressing down on him like billowing waves. This level of pressure would definitely not be of much use to someone who had just entered the heavenly domain. However, it was of little use to Tang Huan. Bam! With a loud crash, 
The black blade in Tai Fingan's hand swung out again. However, with the previous example, he had made sufficient preparations this time. He forcibly dispelled the huge force that was surging towards him from the blade and stabilized his pace. Although he was not affected by the force from the blade as much as before, Tai Fingan's face was still gloomy. He had already noticed that after activating Heavenly Domain, Tang Huan's movements did not seem to be affected at all, they were as fast as lightning. Kai Tai Fing and once again struck horizontally with his blade, and a strong black storm wrapped itself around it. The moment the blade was unleashed, Tai Fing and's mind instructs, in a second, slightly moved, and the black heavenly domain around Tang Huan began to undulate like ripples, an even more powerful pressure sweeping towards Tang Huan. With a snort, Tang Huan did not retreat but turned his fist into a palm and struck the blade. Bam, bam, dot. Within Black Heavenly Domain, the heaven-shaking sounds of collisions rose and fell one after another. Everyone held their breath, their eyes wide open, staring at the movement inside without blinking, but they could only see two blurry figures constantly moving and flashing in the black area, with speed as fast as lightning. It was hard to tell who was Tang Huan and who was Tai Fengen. As time passed, the situation inside became more and more difficult to differentiate. But from the sound of it, Tang Huan and Tai Fengen seemed to be evenly matched. Many Chen villages were pleasantly surprised. Even Tai Fengen, a powerful individual who had already stepped into the heavenly domain, had rushed over. On their side, there were only Chen Ru and the other two stage 9 experts, so the chances of preserving the infant Amethyst Thunder Lion was extremely slim. Furthermore, Although Tai Fengen and the rest did not dare to start a massacre in the Chen village, if they were to fight, the number of injured martial warriors s would definitely not be small. Everyone made mental preparations for this. But no one would have thought that during the critical moment, the person Chen Yu rescued would actually make a move. First, he easily defeated Tai Feng Lai, and then, he easily broke through the encirclement of seven experts from the Tai, Iron, village. If nothing unexpected happened, then the infant Amethyst Thunder Lion would definitely be preserved. Compared to the surprise of the people in the Chan village, the experts of the Tai, Iron, village were becoming more and more shocked. They thought that Tai Fengen, who was the strongest amongst them all, would be able to regain some face, but seeing the current situation, their hopes were slim. Even if this battle ended in a draw, today's trip would be considered a failure. A few of their faces were ugly, they did not even notice when Chen Ru and Mu Yuru had escaped the encirclement. Pa! After a long while, the sound of bubbles breaking rang out. The black heavenly domain s that were covering dozens of meters in radius could not hold on and disappeared without a trace. The two figures that appeared faintly in the heavenly domain were clearly visible. Bam! In the midst of the intense sound, the long blade in Tai Fingan's hand was once again smashed apart by the punch, and the black storm brought about by the long blade disappeared without a trace. As the strong force howled forth like a tidal wave, the genuine chi in Tai Fingan's palm churned, and firmly grabbed onto the hilt. Only then did the long blade remain in his hands. At this moment, Tai Fengen was already incomparably shocked. The guy called Chen Huan on the opposing side clearly did not use a single thread of genuine qi nor did he use any battle skills, and only relied on the strength of his flesh body to fight him again. Even if he was a heavenly domain level expert himself, when facing an opponent who was also from heavenly domain level expert, if he only used the power of his flesh body, it would be impossible for him to hold on for too long nor would it be possible for him to win. But this Chen Huan, not only was she shockingly strong, she seemed to be eternally exhausted. Until the end of the battle, Tai Fengen kept on avoiding direct contact with his opponent's fists and palms, but it was still difficult to achieve his wish. That terrifying power surged over and over again. By now, his palms were badly mutilated, and his arms had almost lost all feeling. If this battle continued, he would be defeated sooner or later. Just as that thought flashed through his mind, Tai Fing and expression suddenly changed. Before this, 
The other party had always been defending and now he was actually taking the initiative to attack. Whoosh! Tang Huan's body moved like a ray of light. The moment the long blade was blasted away, his body had already chased after it like a shadow, his fist striking out again. Tai Fengen was caught off guard, and before he even had the chance to change the blade Zora, that fist had already arrived behind him, smashing into the blade's body with an irresistible force. Bam! Immense strength surged, Tai Fengen's arms completely lost feeling, the genuine chi could no longer wrap around him anymore and his blade immediately flew out. A sarcastic sneer surfaced on Tang Huan's face, and just like the train from his previous life, he rushed towards Tai Feng and like lightning. Seeing that, Tai Feng and's eyes revealed panic. With a thought, the genuine Qi flew out from his body and congealed into a thick protective shield. At the same time, Tai Feng and ferociously roared out and raised his leg to kick Tang Huan. Pa, however, Tai Feng An's right leg had only kicked half, Tang Huan's two palms had already smashed down. The sound of bones cracking suddenly came out, and couldn't help but to let out a scream due to the pain. But Tang Huan's footsteps were not affected in the slightest. N. Tai Feng An let out a painful groan as his body flew backwards like a cloud, and fell heavily onto the ground tens of meters away from his long blade. The layer of genuine qi barrier on the surface of his body completely shattered and dissipated under Tang Huan's exceptionally fierce impact. You, you, who could it be? PFFT, Tai Feng and stared in shock at Tang Huan who had stopped in his tracks. He raised his upper body with all his might, but before he finished speaking, a mouthful of blood was spurted out, and his body fell to the ground. His head tilted to the side and he fainted. His face was completely pale. Chapter 696, Youngster's Village, Main Village. Tai Feng and lost, and he lost so quickly. In just the blink of an eye, the speed was so fast that people could not even react. A dignified heavenly domain level expert, actually suffered a miserable defeat. This sudden change caused the entire plaza to become deathly silent. But after the short period of silence, the heaven-shaking cheers and cheers resounded above the plaza. The people of Chen village were extremely excited. They were originally worried that Tang Huan was not a match for the heavenly domain level expert, but the current result had surprised and pleasantly surprised them. However, the Thai, Iron, village experts could not help but reveal expressions of fear. Even Tai Feng An, who was the strongest, was defeated. The hearts of the Thai, Iron, village experts quivered, but Tang Huan's gaze still swept over them. Although they were afraid, they did not dare act rashly. The strength that Tang Huan had displayed, especially the unstoppable might he displayed when he defeated Tai Feng Lai and the other experts of the Stage 9, allowed them to forcefully suppress the urge to escape. They knew very well that their chances of escaping were extremely slim. Scram! A low shout suddenly sounded out. Go! Go. The experts of Tai, Iron, Village felt as if they had been pardoned off. They immediately brought the unconscious Tai Feng Lai, Tai Feng An and the rest to flee, and disappeared without a trace. Brother Tang Huan. Chen Mu ran towards Tang Huan quickly, his face flushed red with excitement. He suddenly realized, it was normal for Tang Huan to have such powerful strength. How powerful was that saber-toothed green carapace beast? Let alone an expert from the stage 9. Even if it was an ordinary heavenly domain level expert, they would still be devoured the moment they met that fierce beast. Even though Tai Feng An was also a heavenly domain level expert, he couldn't be compared to a saber-toothed green carapace beast. If he were to encounter that vicious beast, he would probably lose his life before it could even try to flee. However, under its chase, Tang Huan had to flee for thousands of kilometers. With the strength of the two, it was obvious that they would be the strongest. It was not surprising that Tai Feng An had suffered a crushing defeat at the hands of Tang Huan. Ho! Oh, Tang Huan heaved a long sigh, and his face flushed red. In the blink of an eye, he smiled at Chen Mu, and a strong sense of exhaustion surged out from his body. Then he collapsed to the ground. Seeing that, the surrounding people suddenly exclaimed. Chen Ru and the rest surrounded them. Although Tang Huan's injuries had already healed, 
he had only just woke up and his strength had not fully recovered. In his battle within the rest of the stage 9 martial saint, he did not consume much power, but when he fought with the heavenly domain level expert Tai Fengen, he almost exhausted all of his flesh body. Fortunately, Tai Fengalai's group, especially Tai Fengen's miserable defeat, had already frightened the courage of the experts from the Tai, Iron, village, and had caused them to no longer have the courage to fight against Tang Huan. If they had rushed forward at the same time, Tang Huan would not have been able to hold on. After an afternoon's worth of time, Tang Huan had already recovered quite a bit of strength. Even if the people from Tai, Iron, village came back, they wouldn't have to worry. Yeah. Inside the simple hut, when he saw Tang Huan opening his eyes, Zhao Budian immediately let out a loud and clear sound. In an instant, she covered her stomach and looked pitifully at Tang Huan. Without realizing it, Tang Huan summoned out a small group of Saint Grade Gem from within the Sumeru magical ring with a thought. The divine armament was suppressed into the Donchen and could not be revealed, yet he was able to take out the things within the Sumeru magical ring. Fortunately, this was the case, otherwise, this little fellow would probably be hungry for a while. Yeah, Zhao Budian's eyes lit up, and quickly pounced over. With a lift of his tongue, the two Saint Grade Gem entered his mouth and started to chew in satisfaction. Tang Huan laughed, but in that instant, a look of urgency appeared in his eyes. As long as he could activate the genuine qi, the mind power, and even the spiritual fire, he would be able to summon the divine armament. Even if he met the saber-toothed green carapace beast and the strong cultivator at the peak of heavenly domain, Tang Huan would have the strength to fight him. In this forging god great world, without great strength, you can't go anywhere. Maybe you can't even protect this little guy in front of you. Big Brother Tang Huan. The door opened a crack, and Chen Mu's small head snuck in. After quickly sweeping a glance inside, she was pleasantly surprised. Dot, dot. In the blink of an eye, several days had passed. Within the Chen village, Tang Huan enjoyed treatment akin to a hero. No matter where he went, the only thing that greeted him was gratitude and admiration. In the past few days, the experts of Tai, Iron, Village did not come again, and the entire time, Chen Village was calm and peaceful. While Tang Huan was cultivating, he was brought to every corner of the village by Chen Mu. Through the constant insinuations, Tang Huan had already discovered a lot of things. This Chen village was located at the Firing Dragon Mountain Range located at the southeastern border of the Forging God Great World. As for exactly how long it was and how wide it was, no one knew. However, from their descriptions, Tang Huan could vaguely deduce that the size of the Firing Dragon Mountain Range was at least ten times more than the size of the entire small world. When he came to this conclusion, even Tang Huan himself was shocked. If a mountain range at the border region is so huge, then just how vast is the entire forging god great world? In the outskirts of the Firing Dragon mountain range, there were countless villages like the Chen village and the Tai, Iron, village, as well as many small and large towns. Amongst these villages, the Chen village and the Tai, Iron, village were all relatively strong, but the villages at this level of strength were rather special, they were all separated into two villages, the mother and the son. Just like where Tang Huan was currently at, was the youngster's village. In the north, tens of kilometers away, there was also a main village. The young people of the village gathered in youngster's village, while the infant child, the middle-aged and the elderly gathered in main village. Once one reached twelve years of age, they had to leave the main village to live in the youngster's village until they were allowed to return and stay in the main village until they reached 30 years of age. The youngster's village was actually equivalent to a training ground. Under normal circumstances, unless the youngster's village was in danger of destruction, the experts and experts of the main village would not interfere. For example, the competition for the young of the Amethyst Thunder Lion was a contest between Chen Village and Youngster's Village. Every youngster's village would have a village chief. The village chief of the Chen village was Chen Mu's sister, Chen Yu. Although she was only 23 years old, she had already been the village chief for three years and five years ago. 
she had already stepped into the heavenly domain realm. After learning about this situation, Tang Huan laughed bitterly. Five years ago, he had entered the heavenly domain realm. This meant that at the age of 18, Chen Yu was already a heavenly domain level expert. Chapter 697, True Spirit Other than Chen Yu, there was also a heavenly domain level expert among the youngsters' villages. His name was Chen Chong and he was already 26 years old. Chen Village was also a youngsters' village, but he had two heavenly domain level expert S, so his strength was obviously stronger than Tai, Iron, villages. As the two villages were relatively close, there were many conflicts in recent years. But the Chen village always had the upper hand. Taking advantage of the fact that Chen Yu and the others were not in the village, Tai Feng and Tai Feng Lai and the other experts of the Tai Iron village took action. Their main goal would probably be to teach Chen Ru and the others a lesson and vent their anger after being suppressed for so many years. However, although Chen Yu and the rest were not here for the time being, they would definitely return. Was Tai Feng and the rest not afraid of fighting the Tai? Iron, village after they returned, Tang Huan was a little doubtful. He had a premonition that this matter would not end just like this. Of course, Tang Huan was not able to guess how it would develop, and he was not in the mood to ponder blindly. These few days, Tang Huan spent most of his time on cultivation. That kind of strange power that originated from the Lingzhao ancient road was rather difficult to refine. Even if Tang Huan had the Nine Yang Divine Furnace. The speed at which it was absorbed and refined was not fast. Although the genuine qi, mind power, spiritual fire and divine armament were still in a suppressed state and could not be activated, Tang Huan could clearly feel that after refining and absorbing the energy, his own strength was increasing bit by bit, allowing him to become more and more confident. Above heavenly domain, is the true spirit level. Inside the hut, Tang Huan sat crossed-legged his mind working quickly. The group of people who had entered the small world from the Forging God Great World were originally true spirit level rankers. However, after passing through the Thunder Dominion, they had sustained heavy injuries and their cultivation had dropped to the stage 9. According to what Chen Mu had revealed, the Chen Village S in the Chen Village and the Tai, Iron, Village each had a true spirit level experts. The reason why the saber-toothed green carapace beast who was chasing after Tang Huan had chosen to retreat after seeing Chen Yu was because it knew that Chen Yu was from the Chen village. Even if its strength surpassed Chen Yu's, it did not dare to move rashly, lest it attract the attention of the Chen village s from the Chen village s and lose its life. The saber-toothed green carapace beast was extremely powerful and intelligent. It was not surprising that she would make such a choice. Of course, in the entire Firing Dragon Mountain range, the saber-toothed green carapace beast could not be considered as that strong. In the depths of the mountain range, there were countless beasts with even more terrifying strength living. Tang Huan had been sent to Firing Dragon Mountain Range by the Lingzhao Ancient Road and only met with saber-toothed green carapace beast. Those beasts that were not as strong as the true spirit level experts were considered lucky. If he encountered a saber-toothed green carapace beast, Tang Huan would still have a chance to escape. But if he encountered those fierce beasts, Tang Huan would not even have a chance to escape. In the small world, the heavenly domain realm was almost the peak of cultivation, but in the forging god great world realm, the heavenly domain realm was only the beginning. The ranks of the first to third stage were martial disciple s, the fourth to sixth stage were martial master s, stage seven martial master s, eighth stage martial lord s, and stage nine martial saint s. They were all small worlds and in forging god great world s. Although there were ranks from first stage to stage 9, there were no such titles as Martial Disciple S, Martial Master S, Great Martial Master S, Martial Lord S, and Martial Saint S. In the Forging God Great World, whether it was the Martial Warriors, the Mages, or the people with bodies like the Demon Clan, they were all cultivators. Any training method would have the same end result. The experts of the three clans that came from the small world all had to first condense their heavenly domain s and then step into the true spirit level. After I finish refining all the energy in my body, 
I might be able to directly step into the true spirit level. Tang Huan thought for a while, then calmed himself down and continued operating the Nine Yang Divine Furnace. The energy in his body was slowly transferred into the cauldron. Time passed quietly. Tang Huan went out of the door less and less, and spent practically all day and all night inside the wooden house. Although Chen Ru and the others were very curious about Tang Huan and the others, they did not come to disturb him. On the other hand, Chen Mu and the other young men and women from Chen village would observe Tang Huan's situation from time to time through the gaps between the wooden door. Unknowingly, a few days had passed. Huh? During the night. A soft exclamation suddenly sounded from within the brightly lit wooden house. Tang Huan suddenly opened his eyes, revealing a surprised look. But after a moment, the surprise had already been replaced by surprise. He suddenly realized that his genuine qi had become loose. It was not only for genuine qi, even mind power and spiritual fire were the same, as for divine armament. With a thought. A dark red light flashed and the conqueror's spear appeared in his palm. The suppression on the divine armament by that strange power also disappeared. Tang Huan's thoughts quickly changed, and in a blink of an eye, he felt at ease. It had already been almost ten days since he woke up. In this period of time, the strange energy in his body had already been refined to more than 50%, and the weaker the energy, the weaker the suppression they had on Tang Huan's body. In the past, he used to be strong of that kind, so Tang Huan was unable to use any of the power he had before, including the divine armament. Finally, I have some power to protect myself. Tang Huan uncontrollably revealed a smile. Ever since he came to the Forging God Great World, even after he was saved by Chen Yu, a heavy burden had been pressing down on Tang Huan's heart. At this moment, the boulder finally fell to the ground. Being able to use genuine qi, Mind power and spiritual fire meant that Tang Huan was able to unleash his strongest fighting strength, and was also able to use his space aircraft. Even if he met an enemy that he was not an opponent for like saber-toothed green carapace beast, he could still successfully escape. In a moment of thought, Tang Huan could not help but circulate his cultivation technique. Inside the dungeon, the five colors spiritual pills was circulating to its limits in an instant buzz. After a split second, the majestic genuine chi surged into the conqueror spear like a wave, with a power that could topple mountains and overturn seas. The intense trembling sound suddenly shook the void, and the inside of the spear body exploded with an incomparably resplendent luster. If it wasn't for Tang Huan deliberately restraining himself, the crazy heat that filled the air might have already ignited the entire wooden house. Was surprised and overjoyed as he felt the genuine qi surging through his body like a torrent. Compared to when he had just entered the Lingzhao ancient road, his current genuine qi had increased by a large amount. Peak of heavenly domain, with a slight thought, the five colors odor gushed out of the body. With a flick of a finger. It condensed into a thin membrane right next to his skin. Compared to when he was in Foggy Sea Island, the Five Colors Heavenly Domain was indeed even stronger, and his perception ability was also increasing explosively. Now, even if it was the situation within a circumference of 200 meters, Tang Huan would be able to clearly investigate it in an instant. Boom. At this time, an earth shattering drum sound suddenly resounded in the night sky also entering Tang Huan's ears clearly. It was immediately followed by a second, then a third. In just a short span of one or two breaths, nine drum beats consecutively sounded out. It was incomparably urgent, and the entire Chen village was shaken awake. Chapter 698, Changes Yi yeah, Zhao Budian who was sleeping soundly suddenly woke up, and jumped up with a start. He quickly turned his head, and looked around suspiciously. What's going on? Tang Huan's brows slightly knitted, as he too, felt somewhat puzzled. Following that, Tang Huan heard a series of footsteps, followed by the creaking sound of the door opening. The voice came from the room next door, and the one who lived there was Chen Mu. The footsteps quickly stopped in front of the wooden house, followed by a series of anxious knocks on the door. Big Brother Tang Huan Big Brother Tang Huan. Chen Mu anxiously called out. Tang Huan's mind instructs, in a second, moved slightly, 
he kept the conqueror's spear and immediately stood up. After a while, he opened the door, and saw Chen Mu's anxious face. Chen Mu, did something happen in the village? Tang Huan said in a heavy voice. I still don't know what happened. Chen Mu said anxiously, however, something big must have happened. Otherwise, he would not have sounded the snakeskin drum in the middle of the village nine times in a row, and would have gathered everyone. Let's go take a look. The corner of Tang Huan's eyebrows slightly raised, he looked at Zhao Budian who was inside the wooden hut, closed the door, and then pulled Chen Mu into his arms and flew away. Zhao Budian flapped his four pairs of wings, leaned against the gap of the door and peeked outside, he did not follow along, his eyes wide with curiosity. The drum rang out nine times, shaking the heavens. In the dark night, lights were shining in almost every room. One figure after another headed towards the center of Chen village, causing the entire village to boil over. In the center of Chen village, there was a palace. When Tang Huan brought Chen Mu over, there were already over a hundred figures gathered inside, and practically everyone had an expression of unconcealable grief and indignation on their faces. At this moment, the palace was filled with an oppressive atmosphere. Putting down Chen Mu, Tang Huan looked at the center of the crowd, a tall and slim figure stood there, her face was beautiful yet exuding a heroic spirit, her leather chest and skirt were covered up, the exposed wheat-colored skin revealed an attractive luster, what was most striking, were her two slender legs, as though they contained astonishing elasticity and power. At this time, she was wielding a purple long spear, and her body was as straight as a spear. Her two eyebrows were slightly knitted, and her beautiful face was as cold as water. Chen Yu The moment he saw her, two words immediately appeared in Tang Huan's mind. Back then at the exit of the gorge, Tang Huan had only seen Chen Yu's back. He did not see his face, but, he was deeply impressed by the purple spear in her hand. There were three figures standing beside Chen Yu. All of them were injured, and on the ground in front of them, two of them were lying unconscious. Although they did not die, their injuries were even more severe. One of them had a wound that extended from his left shoulder all the way to the right side of his waist. It was so deep that the bones were visible, and his flesh was overturned. Although the bleeding had stopped, the blood that had seeped out earlier had already dyed his body completely red. Seeing this scene, Tang Huan was slightly shocked. Chen Yu and the rest had obviously just returned to the Chen village. If he remembered correctly, Chen Mu had said before, among the heavenly domain level expert, Chen Yu and the other two people who went out to hunt, there were ten experts of the stage nine. However, it seemed that only Chen Yu and the others were left. He didn't know what kind of unforeseen event had befallen them. Was the other person alive or dead? Beside Tang Huan, Chen Mu saw all of this happening. Her eyes opened wide and her face was filled with shock. Only after a long while did she come back to her senses. Sis, in the midst of the alarmed cries, Chen Mu could not help but run towards Chen Yu. Chen Yu raised his head and looked over. When he saw Chen Mu, his eyes softened a little, but when his eyes touched Tang Huan, a strange light flashed past his eyes. It was obvious that he had realized that Tang Huan was the person that she had saved from the saber-toothed green carapace beast in the canyon. Tang Huan nodded at Chen Yu with gratitude in his eyes. However, this was not the time for him to thank her. Time passed bit by bit as people continuously poured in from outside the hall. Cries of alarm rose and fell one after another. In just a few dozen breaths of time, there were already several hundred close to a thousand figures gathered in the palace. This should be all of the Chen family's disciples in this village, brothers and sisters. This time, when we returned from the hunt, we met with an ambush from a lot of Thai, Iron, village experts at the hidden dragon gorge that is a hundred miles away. I led the injured brothers and cut off the backs of the three brothers. Thai, Iron, Village. It's that bastard from the Thai, Iron, Village again. Hateful. They actually dare to attack us so viciously. Are they planning to start a war with our Chen village? Dot. Hearing Chen Yu's words, the inside of the palace was in an uproar. Everyone was in a state of shock and anger as they shouted out. Chen Yu's eyes swept across the crowd, then raised his hand and pressed. The hall immediately quietened down. Immediately, 
Chen Yu said in a deep voice, since we have already fallen out with them, those fellows will definitely not let this matter rest, they will probably catch up to us soon, so we must immediately evacuate and return to main village. Chen Tong, Chen Ming, hurry back as fast as you can, tell them to send people over. Yes sir, a man and a woman shouted out, and without any hesitation, they rushed out of palace. Chen Rui, all of you. Escort your brothers and sisters, Chen Yu growled again. Yes sir. Chen Ruin nodded his head with a gloomy face, then shouted out loud, Brothers and sisters, we will set off immediately. Just as Chen Rui finished speaking, everyone in the hall started to move quickly. Two stage 9 experts with wounds all over walked at the front, and two cultivators of the 8th step followed behind while carrying two injured and unconscious stage 9 experts. They surrounded the 7th and 8th stage cultivators. Tang Huan secretly nodded his head as he watched. This group of Chen villages could be considered to be under the prohibition, and after Chen Yu made his decision, they did not hesitate at all to carry it out, and no one dared to make a ruckus. In just a few moments, more than half of the palace was gone. Sister Chen Yu. What about you? Chen Rui seemed to have thought of something, and asked suddenly. He was older than Chen Yu, but he called her sister naturally. I'll stay behind to cut off the rear. Chen Yu slowly said. Hearing his words, the Chen villagers who had not left the hall turned and looked at Chen Yu, their expressions filled with worry. You can't. Chen Rui shook her head repeatedly. Big sister Chen Yu. It's too dangerous for you to cover your back by yourself. It's better for us to evacuate together. If we evacuate together, none of us will be able to escape. Chen Rui, bring Chen Mu with you and quickly escort everyone out. Chen Yu shouted with an unquestionable tone. Sis. Chen Mu held on to Chen Yu's arm tightly and shook his head with all his might. Tears already starting to roll down his cheeks. Chapter 699. Careful. Deceitful. Chen Rui, hurry up, are you trying to kill everyone? Chen Yu's expression turned cold, and anger loomed between his brows. I, Chen Rui's eyes reddened. Chen Yu was the most astonishingly talented young genius of the Chen village. If the experts of the Tai, Iron, village were to give chase in large numbers, she would only have a slim chance of survival by herself. Chen Rui, you guys hurry up and set off. I'll stay behind with the village chief to cut off the rear. A voice suddenly sounded out, and it was Tang Huan who spoke. You? Chen Yu frowned, as if he was displeased. Big sister Chen Yu, I didn't have the time to tell you. Roughly ten days ago, Tai Fengen and Tai Fengal I came to our Chen village to cause trouble, and it was brother Tang Huan who helped us out injuring Tai Fengen severely and driving them away. Otherwise, who knows how many of us would have been injured. Sis, big brother Tang Huan is really powerful. Chen Mu rubbed his eyes and agreed. Oh, a hint of surprise flashed deep within Chen Yu's beautiful eyes. Since that's the case, then you can stay behind and face the enemy together with me. Chen Rui, don't delay any longer. Yes sir. Chen Rui was slightly relieved. He picked up Chen Mu and waved his hand. Let's go. In just the blink of an eye, all of the remaining Chen villages had left, leaving only Tang Huan and Chen Yu behind. Sis, big brother Tang Huan, you must survive. Outside the hall, Chen Mu's voice could faintly be heard. Your name is Tang Huan? Thank you for helping our Chen village out so much. Chen Yu's gaze fell on Tang Huan and his expression became a lot more gentle. But the strangeness in his eyes became even more intense. Chen Yu had personally brought him back, so he had a very good understanding of Tang Huan's injuries. He never thought that would have already recovered ten days ago, and would even have the ability to defeat Tai Fengen, who had already stepped into the heavenly domain realm. Although he was surprised, Chen Yu was glad. At that time, she, Chen Chong and the others would already have left and Chen Village only had Chen Ru and the other two stage 9 experts. It was simply impossible for him to be a match for Tai Fengen. If not for Tang Huan's help, the Chen Village very likely would have already been destroyed. After all, from the ambush she had encountered with Chen Chong and the others today, it could be seen that the Tai, Iron, Village had long planned to start a war with the Chen Village. Otherwise, it would be impossible for her to do such a thing. Miss Chen Yu. I have to thank you. If you did not save me, 
I would not be in this world anymore, Tang Huan said with a smile, it was nothing. Chen Yu waved his hand, and a look of apology appeared in his eyes as he looked at Tang Huan, and he said with a bitter smile, although I saved you, I had also dragged you into the grudge between our Chen villages, I am truly sorry. Tang Huan, if you are unable to accomplish anything, you should leave first. I know that you have the space aircraft, so the people from Tai, Iron, village shouldn't be able to catch up to you. It's still too early to say these things now. Tang Huang laughed. You're right. Chen Yu calmed his mood, his expression serious as he asked, Tang Huang, what kind of weapon are you used to using? Behind the palace is our Chen village's armory. There are also some weapons inside, you can go in and choose from. There's no need to go through all this trouble. Tang Huang smiled indifferently, with a thought, a dark red light flashed and the conqueror spear appeared in his hand once again. Divine armament? Seeing that, a few more suspicions appeared in Chen Yu's eyes, but she seemed to have thought of something in an instant. She suddenly blurted out and a look of surprise appeared in her eyes as she looked at Tang Huan. Tang Huan laughed, it's only the lowest level divine armament. Even if it's the lowest level divine armament s, it would still be extremely shocking. Chen Yu regained his senses took a light breath, and couldn't help but say, Tang Huan, for you to summon the divine armament in front of me, are you not afraid that I might have other thoughts? Tang Huan laughed out loud, Ms. Chen Yu, you are my savior. If I can't even trust you, then who can I trust? In the small world, Tang Huan could easily take out the divine armament and even directly forge them inside the Furious Waves city. But in the God Great World, Tang Huan would not be so rash. However, Chen Yu was different from others. She did not even covet a spiritual beast like the Blue Dragon, so she would naturally not harbor malicious intent towards a low-level divine armament. Of course, if there were still others in the Chen village, Tang Huan wouldn't be acting so casually. Even if he had to call out the divine armament, he would try to cover it up. I, Chen Yu's expression became complicated, but before he could finish, Tang Huan squinted, and his face darkened, Ms. Chen Yu, they are here, let's go. Chen Yu's pupils suddenly shrank. Without saying any more, he moved his feet and flew out of the hall. Without hesitation, he followed suit like his shadow. In front of the hall, a wide path led straight out of the valley. Currently, the Chen village had already climbed over the mountains and left the back of the valley. At the entrance of the valley, a figure took advantage of the hazy moon to fly over. Just one person. Outside the hall, Tang Huan raised his eyebrows slightly with some suspicion. Chen Chong? Just then, Chen Yu suddenly shouted out in surprise. Her body shot forward like a ray of light. Chen Chong? Another heavenly domain ranker? Tang Huan's heart was moved. He looked over. After a while, the figure was clearly imprinted in his eyes. It was a young man in his twenties. He was tall and sturdy. His body was covered in wounds and blood stains. The staff in his hand was dark in color. Brother Chen Chong, you're finally back. Where are the others? Chen Yu's urgent voice sounded. In a split second, she and Chen Chong were only less than two meters apart. Dead. All dead. Chen Chong stopped. His tone was mournful, and his face was filled with pain. Little sis. I'm sorry, I couldn't bring all of them back. Big Brother Chen Chong, you don't have to blame yourself, you can't be blamed for this. Those bastards of the Thai, Iron, Village, they deserve to die. We will take revenge sooner or later. Chen Yu's face turned gloomy, the killing intent in her heart boiling. When she saw Chen Chong appearing alone, she had already guessed that this would be the result. It was already considered fortunate that Chen Chong was able to get back at her from the assassination attempts of the experts of Tai, Iron, Village. We will not give up until we have avenged this enmity. Chen Chong's face distorted and like an injured beast, he roared loudly. Then, he panted a few times in exhaustion and asked, Little sister, where are the other siblings? They, before he finished speaking, Chen Chong could not hold on any longer, he staggered and fell forward, while Chen Yu took a step forward to support him. Be careful, it's a trap. Tens of meters away, Tang Huan's face suddenly changed, as he shouted out anxiously. Chen Yu was startled, then immediately he felt a tearing pain coming from his stomach. In his line of sight, 
Chen Chong's face that was covered in blood had become extremely sinister. Chen Chong, you! Chen Yu staggered backwards, and when he saw the exposed black dagger on his abdomen, he could not believe his eyes. Chapter 700, Green Devil Snake, Carrot It's you. It was you who revealed our whereabouts to those bastards in Tai, Iron, Village. In the next moment, Chen Yu suddenly woke up from his stupor, and stared angrily at Chen Chong who immediately retreated back several meters after he succeeded, and berated him while gritting his teeth. Chen Chong, you traitor. You're not stupid, that's right, it's me. Chen Chong laughed sinisterly, Chen Yu, go and die. While speaking, the staff in Chen Chong's hand released a dense black light. At this moment, it was as if the surrounding light had been absorbed by the sucking. Just as he finished speaking, the long rod with a monstrous strength chi struck down at Chen Yu's head. For a moment, the air shook, a loud whistling sound resonated out. Kai. But right at that moment, a bright red light suddenly shot out, penetrated through the black light and clashed fiercely with the rod in Chen Chong's hand. The red light exploded turning into an exceptionally terrifying heat wave that raged wildly. Chen Chong raised the long rod high up in the air, both of his hands became numb, and his weapon almost flew out of his hands. As for the roaring strength Qi, it made him even more unable to endure it, and he retreated several steps. When he was more than 10 meters away from stabilizing his footsteps, the sinister smile on Chen Chong's face had already completely disappeared replaced with a thick sense of shock. Who are you? Looking at the figure that appeared at Chen Yu's side out of nowhere, Chen Chong's expression became unsettled. The person in front of him should be without a doubt heavenly domain cultivator, but his appearance was unfamiliar, and definitely not from Chen Village. After a short moment, he asked in shock, Are you the guy Chen Yu saved? Back then, when Tang Huan was saved and brought back to the Chen Village, he had gone to take a look, but that time, Tang Huan's hair was in a mess, and his appearance was not very clear, and just now, Tang Huan was quite a distance away, and the night was dark. Adding the fact that the majority of his attention was on Chen Yu, he did not immediately recognize him. Now that he knew Tang Huan's identity, he was even more shocked. He never would have thought that Tang Huan actually had such a powerful strength and that the perception ability was also extraordinary, to actually discover that something was amiss the moment he made a move. If it wasn't for the fact that Chen Yu was not the least bit wary of him, he definitely wouldn't have been able to succeed in his sneak attack just now. Ms. Chen Yu After forcing Chen Chong away with one shot, Tang Huan did not continue attacking. Instead, he grabbed Chen Yu with one hand and looked at her abdomen. He won't die yet. Chen Yu pulled out the dagger and threw it on the ground. Poisonous. Tang Huan's expression immediately turned ugly. The blood that flowed out from the wound on his abdomen was not red, but was tinged with a creepy green color. Not only that, but that dark green color quickly spread like a spider web around the wound on his abdomen. If his skin was like this, then his body was no exception. Chen Chong tightened the grip on his long rod, and said sinisterly, my dagger is smeared with Green Devil Snake's poison, she will not last another quarter of an hour. Green Devil Snake? Chen Yu's face changed. That's right. Chen Chong mocked. Chen Yu, I have to thank you for helping me kill that Green Devil Snake a few days ago, died to the poison of the Green Devil Snake that I killed. As he finished speaking, Chen Chong could not hold back his ridiculing laughter. But after that moment, Chen Chong's laughter suddenly stopped. The cold gazes coming from the other side made him feel as if he had fallen into a icy cave. A chill entered his bones and even seeped into the depths of his soul. Open your mouth. Tang Huan withdrew his gaze, did not pay any more attention to Chen Chong, and instead looked towards Chen Yu, and said solemnly. Hmm. Chen Yu raised his eyes in shock. Tang Huan's right index finger immediately extended into her slightly open mouth and under his great strength, golden blood started to flow out. His blood could not cure the poison, but suppressing the spread of the poison was no problem. You, when Chen Yu just vaguely said that word, his mouth was already full of Tang Huan's blood, and he subconsciously swallowed it right away. After a while, she suddenly felt that the wound on her abdomen was wiggling very quickly. When Tang Huan withdrew his finger, 
she subconsciously looked down, in his lower abdomen, the ghostly green color had already stopped spreading. The wound was actually gradually closing. How is this possible? Chen Chong had also noticed the changes in Chen Yu's wound, and exclaimed in disbelief. Chen Yu's face was filled with surprise and joy. She knew that this was definitely the effect of Tang Huan's blood, even if the green devil snake's poison was still in his body, as long as he could hold on for a little longer, it would be enough. Tang Huan. Thank you. Give me time to kill this traitor with my own hands. Chen Yu gratefully looked at Tang Huan, and after that, her two eyes landed on Chen Chong, who was facing her. Her beautiful eyes were filled with overflowing killing intent, and the long spear in her hand released a purple glow as she pointed it forward. Kill me? Chen Chong sneered. Chen Yu, do you really think I came alone? Are you talking about the three men hiding there? Tang Huan's lips revealed a trace of ridicule, and he raised his hand to point to the front left. You! Chen Chong's expression suddenly changed, and he was even more shocked in his heart. There were only three people that came with him. Furthermore, those three people were hiding at least 200 meters away from here. So Tang Huan had already detected their presence? Ha ha. A hearty laugh suddenly resounded through the night sky. Three figures flashed and appeared behind a wooden house about 200 meters away, shooting toward their direction. In the blink of an eye, those three people's faces had already entered Tang Huan's and his group's line of sight. The one on the left was a strong horse-faced man who was around the age of 27 or 8. He held a long blade in his hand, which was a dark black color, and was precisely Tai Fengen who had once been in Tang Huan's hands. Last time, Tang Huan broke one of his legs and heavily injured his internal organs. But he did not expect him to recover so quickly. On the right was a middle-aged man in his forties. He was of medium height, but his build was extremely sturdy. The weapon in his hand was wrapped in a cloth. From the looks of it, it seemed to be a giant hammer. In the middle was an old man about sixty years old, tall and sturdy, with a beard that was white as ash, and an extremely rugged face. Tai Tan Bo, Tai Danyan, Tai Fengen. Chen Yu's gaze swept across the three people standing beside Chen Chong, and practically spat out these words word by word. The rage in his eyes burned fiercely, and he said, Our Chen village is not so easy to kill. From today onwards, our Chen village and the Tai, Iron, village will not rest until we die. You don't give up until you die. The tall and sturdy old man laughed, Chen Yu. You think too much. From today onwards, I think there will no longer be any Chen village left in this world. What? Chen Yu seemed to have thought of something, and was greatly shocked. Tai Tan Bo, what do you mean by that? The tall and sturdy old man called Tai Tan Bo did not reply, but sized Tang Huan up while ridiculing him, to be able to discover us from so far away, our strength is not bad, and moreover, we are young enough with endless potential. Unfortunately, we will die here today. 